give him all praise and glory. To Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakadash, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, Yahweh Shai being the name of His beloved Son, who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ, as the true names in the Lashon Kodesh, the ancient Hebrew, the only names you call upon for salvation. If you're an Israelite, the Israelites mean so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. All right, this is very important to know. Who you truly are, okay, your true identity according to the scriptures, the way the Heavenly Father looks at you, all right? Double honors uh, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the bishops of Great Millstone, and blessed salutations to the hopeful elect. You know, we're back out here another week, man. All right, a week away from uh, 2023, man. Okay, the end of 2022, and boy, has it been a, a year of return of, of turn up, man. Things is turning up. Yeah. Okay, Esau Edom is about to go digital. Okay, the Lord is sending the uh, Arctic blast. What is it? Uh, the south, the, the east, Midwest. Midwest getting rocked right now by those uh, those freezing temperatures, man. All right, so expect the Albash Mountain to turn up even more uh, going into the so called new year, which we know the new year actually comes in. Uh, in the springtime, when everything springs to life. All right, so, you know, as, as always, the uh, prophecies are in the forefront, man. The, the main prophecy that we're looking for is the implementation of the MOTB, okay? So you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, you Hispanics, you Native, Amer you Native Americans, you know, the time is short, okay? Repent while you can. You got that? Isaiah chapter 55, verse six, seek he the Lord. While he may be found. Right, seek ye the Lord. Yahweh, that's his, that's the Heavenly Father's name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name. Seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright, there's a scripture that says it's the time to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord while you still can, man. And that's insinuating that there's a time coming that you're not gonna be able to uh uh uh, uh seek the Lord. Alright, go ahead. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right, call ye upon him while he is near. And the Spirit of the Lord is heavy upon the earth right now. The Lord is near right now. Okay? The Lord is very near right now. Okay? Throughout the whole globe, mainly here in America, you got the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the prophets, standing on the street corners, uh, 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 prophesying to you, man. Giving you the solution. Give, uh, uh, showing you the right way to serve the Lord, man. So the Lord is very near. Yeah, I guess that scripture says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, right? Yeah. You said implying that he, you know, there's gonna come a time yep. that, you know, but it's also implying that you're gonna seek him, but he's not gonna be able to be found. Right. Okay, you're gonna have people out there looking for this group. Right. You know, we see where the men at. Right. You know, where were they at? Oh, they was on the corner. Uh, over there on uh, Ventura, Ventura Boulevard. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there was a downtown LA. Right, exactly. Right. Right? See, now you're going to seek him. He ain't going to be able to, you're feet. not going to be able to find him, man. Yep. Okay? Because the, the Lord is in this group. The Lord is in the groups that the Lord set up all across the earth, man. Right. To bring you these prophecies before the end time. That's right. That's, That's right. right, bro. And the scriptures go into that about, if you call it the yeah. famine of the word. Mm -hmm. You know? So there's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to seek this knowledge and this truth, man. Yep. So you better come out and get it while you can. Yep. You, know, you, don't, you, don't, you don't seek out the Lord by... Following these high holy uh, these, these holy these holidays, wow. right? Our people in the you know? in the spirit of Christmas, man. Yeah, which really that spirit is dead. When I was growing up, that was a big deal. Mm -hmm. I know, especially when you was growing mm -hmm. up. Yeah, you know, you was there in the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. I was there in the you know in the nineties, early two thousands. Christmas was a big deal. Right. Yeah. Houses used to be lit. Hey, shit, we used to drive to certain places exactly. just to, just just to, to see the houses right. lit up. Yeah, exactly. That spirit yeah. is dead, man. It is real dead. Yeah, different kid stores. I mean, toy stores. Yeah. You know, original toy stores. Right. Now you got it. All these kids got is what? Target and Walmart? Toys R Us, that's it. Toys R Us. They don't yeah. even have that no more, it's bro. It's done. I thought that was done. <laughs> I went out of business. Toys R Us is done. Oh, oh yeah. Remember you know? KB Toys? They used to have all these goddamn uh, 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 stores. Done. But now that spirit is gone. It's not just uh, Christmas that was done. Uh, Thanksgiving, yeah. that went came and gone. Nobody cared about it. Yep. it wasn't, 
blown up as he Halloween. was. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Nobody gave a damn about that. You know, came and went. Yeah. You know? The most high hates these feast days, you know. Hey. You, don't, you don't seek the Lord by celebrating Christmas. Christmas isn't the, the, the true date right. of when uh, our Lord was born, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord was born in the springtime, like the brother mentioned. That's when the new year came in, you know. That's when our Lord was born, during the spring. Not in the, in, in the winter when everything's dead, you know. Yeah. Holidays used to begin like right after uh, Halloween, back in the day. Okay. November the first, it was on. You yeah. had, they already started putting up Christmas trees and right. stuff before uh, Thanksgiving even come. Right. Mm -hmm. They got Christmas decorations up. Yep. But now, you only you don't barely know that is uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Tomorrow is because I I don't feel no spirit of that shit. Yeah. You're not in this world. Exactly. You know. And the truth is coming up. Came out on all these uh. Pagan holidays, yeah. man. The truth has come came out on it. It really has nothing to do with the scripture. Nothing. All right, it goes but back let's go. to some type of witchcraft. Yep. Or some type of uh, killing of, of the Israelites. Yep. You know. Ezekiel 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people oh, still right. are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another. Every right, so so Jake is talking about this, man. Yep. The Lord this year, the Lord had that whole that whole thing with Kyrie Irving. Really, Kanye West set it off. Really, yeah. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving really didn't do, didn't do shit. You know, he just posted a fucking link. But Kanye West, was that, he was talking that shit. Right. I guess you got them Amalekites, and you know, calling himself a Jew. So our people have been talking, man. Read that again. Also. Thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Right. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. But they will not do them. Right, they hear the words, man. They hear the things that were prophesied, the judgments to come. They hear the correct way to walk on this earth according to the scriptures. But they ain't gonna do them. Which means what? There's a lack of, 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 of fear there. All right. Go ahead. And it says, But they will not do them, for with their mouth they show much love. That's Jake. You know, Jake the talk is going. That's why our Lord called you a hypocrite. You know, with your mouth, how does it go? Somebody grab that real quick. Matthew 15, where the Lord called him a hypocrite. We got a point to make? Oh, no, I didn't. Somebody grab that, man. Matthew 15, man. I was, I was, oh, yeah, I was right, going to say, can I say this stuff? Go ahead. Hey, um, Christmas, they try to praise the Lord. They say they're praising the Lord, but they're really not, man. They, they mask it, yeah. You mask it, but when you when you ain't thinking of the Lord, I got it. You thinking of how to please your bitch. You thinking of what you gonna get. Nobody thinking of the Lord, cause I was there, man. We was there. I was yeah. thinking of the Lord when you wake up on Christmas, man. Hey, ain't that crazy? Atheists celebrate Christmas with Christians. <laughs> Showing you, it don't go back to no goddamn, it don't go back to the scriptures. Yeah. Go ahead, up, start at seven. Matthews, Matthews 15 and seven. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying. Right, the Lord called you a hypocrite, man. Hypocrite goes back to acting. Our people are a bunch of fucking actors, man. Go ahead, that's why motherfuckers be in the church. All, right. mm -hmm. all that extra shit, man. Yeah. All the theatrics, man. The truth don't need all the theatrics, man. Go ahead. This people draweth not unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips. You know, Jake the talk a good one, man. I love Jesus and all of this, all this bullshit, man. Go ahead. But their mouth, but it's like it, but their hearts is far from me. Mm, there you go. That's it, that's all I want. Oh, you know what? Keep going. But but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines. The commandments of men. See, so their their mind go after their, their, their mind go after they say go after their covetousness. Um, not a, no. 
what it say? But in vain they do worship me. Nah, teach. go how about that. The hearts. This people draweth not unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. All right, there we go. This scripture says they go after their covetous. That one said Yahweh trying to say, "Damn, I already forgot it, man. The Yo, heart is far from me. It's far, far from, from me." me. Yeah, it's far yeah, your, your mind is not on the Lord, man. Yeah, like the scripture says, the light has been shown onto them. Yeah. But they don't want to come into the light because their deeds are evil. Their deeds are evil. They don't want to be reproved. They don't want to stop celebrating Christmas. You don't want to stop celebrating your birthdays. You you are already making plans for the New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stop it. Or stop eating uh, abominable yep. foods. Like yep. Pork, shrimp, lobster, and all that. Uh, wicked abominable, abominable foods. And I, that we're, we're supposed to stay away from. Jake wants to eat them shits man that's like the easiest thing you can do yeah yeah it's a fall back from the pork and all the bullshit man but jack will find any excuse yep. even in using the scriptures using the scriptures that they don't understand like acts 10 right yeah. with peter with peter's dream book lord said that you can rise up and eat everything that you see that's unclean no that that the, the unclean feast that you saw that peter saw wasn't literal it represented the, the israelite foreigners are the Gentiles that were Israelites? Yeah. They are falling after the Israelites. I mean, they are falling after the Gentile ways, man. Yeah. They were they were unclean. Okay, that's what that what that meant. But you, Jake, you, you what does the scripture say? You're taught by a piece of men. All right. Yeah. And if you read uh, the, the letters from the Apostle Paul, man, he said it all the time, man. You know, we're supposed to still follow the law, man. All right. You know, yeah. we're not supposed to make void of it. That's right. Yeah. What made you how was shot perfect? And he was able to keep the law, and he's the only man that that came in his in his flesh and was able to do that. Like a Christian would say that he was perfect, but they ain't gonna acknowledge how he was perfect. Finish that scripture out. Hey, and two, I, I that our people don't study, man. Yeah. They don't study. They take the scriptures and they take it for face value. Yeah. Okay. They just read it and say, "Oh, see, it says you can eat it all, eat everything," but it didn't mean that. Okay. But our people, they don't want to take it past that. We said it, that's it, and we're going to leave it at that. You know, even the leaders of our people, man, because they don't know. Okay? Hey, you notice all these wicked holidays, the main dish on the menu is pork. Yeah. Ham. <laughs> Honey glazed ham, you know? Yeah. But you know, that's the reason why we're in the condition that we're in today, man. Some people are stiff-necked, you know, sodish children, you know, as the scriptures say. No, eventually, but when we get in the kingdom, man, the Most High is going to flip all that around. Got a quick precept. This is uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them. The Most High did everything possible. He did everything for us, man. He always looked out for us. But what we still, what do we do? We still went off. We still broke the laws. Boom. Even up to this very day, you have men that take the bag, you know, that take uh, those back room deals that we're seeing today, man. Men that know the truth in today's time, man. And they're still going off. That's why the Most High is going to destroy them. But eventually, you know, he's going to put his laws in our inward parts so that we don't go off again, so that we can enjoy the kingdom. And that's why we're out here right now, man, so that we can be a part of that little will, man, the, right. the hopeful elect, man. Because that is our only hope, man. Brother sent me an article this week about the mice, you know, about how they didn't have hope. Everybody, <laughs> yeah, brother said it everybody out, got man. to see this. <laughs> hey, I mean, know. we was already talking about it, though, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know? But I, you I didn't remember that? I didn't actually yeah, have but it. It was more in detail, like, because okay. they took the wild rats and the wild rats, they, they wasn't used to that environment. They died off. That's going to be two thirds of our people, but. There was others that were wild, but they got rescued, you know? yeah. and then they got used to being, um, they, they, they got used to that feeling of being rescued, they have hope, you know, so they were able to last, just like the regular rats, the domestic, domestic rats, 40 to 60 hours, yeah. you, know? you know, they had that hope, they didn't give up, and this is our hope, you know? yeah. uh, verse uh, 33, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts uh, and will be their power and they shall be my people. And that's the day that we're looking forward to, man. So we never, ever go off again, man. You know, the whole nation, all Israel will be saved. But the Lord is only dealing with two, uh, one third right now, the elect and one third. 
eventually all Israel's gonna be saved, man. So, um, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31, And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Alright, their heart goes after their covetousness, man. Covetousness, man. Their lust. The shit that they trying to accomplish in life. Go ahead. It says that in a I was gonna say it says that in Matthew 6, man, you know, your 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 heart is uh it's a lot, Where your yeah. heart is. Yeah, where your heart is, you do it. Where your treasure is also. Is where your treasure is also, yeah. yeah. Love that bro. Yeah. And it says Verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. Yep. With Certain things we say sounds good, you know. They agree with it. Go ahead. And can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Right, what's the this? All the prophecies, man. You know, time of Jacob's trouble, the implementation of the MOTB, the hour of temptation. Right. When these things begin to come to pass, go ahead. So here everybody's celebrating these whack ass holidays, and the Kuragma, the digital system, is getting ready to come on the scene. That means everything's going to be chaotic, man, when that dollar crash. You know, you people are going to lose a lot of jobs. There's not gonna lose everything, man. Yeah, man, it's gonna be starvation out here. But yet, y'all are celebrating Christmas. Yeah, cause you know that that day is coming because everything is digital now. Before, because now you get those stimulus checks that the government was sending out, they would actually send out a check. Now they're sending them out in uh, debit cards. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's dang. Soon it's gonna be on that on that chip, you know, on that all, the digital all, man. And if you don't have an all, you're not gonna get paid. Yeah. Okay, that's their whole that's their whole MO. Okay, to bring everybody in subjugation to the NWO. Okay, but this is all the Lord's work. Okay, letting you know that we're at the end of this thing, man. Yeah. Alright? We only have to keep keep a, a hold to these prophecies. You know, stay in the spirit of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Endure this thing. Because he said that we were gonna win. We're not gonna lose, man. Okay, even though Esau has, you know, the power to show his hand. The most high don't have to show his hand, man. Okay? His hand is like the hand writing on the wall. It just come out of nowhere. Who? Okay? The Lord that's, already, that's our power. God, the Lord already got the victory, like the brother was saying, man. We read about that in, in the Apocrypha. Look at Ezra. The Lord already got the victory. You know, you just got to endure until the end. Same yeah. will be saved. You know? The Lord's coming back and he's going to destroy all these armies. You just got to hope and pray that you're part of that number. Yeah. You know? Lord declared the ending from the beginning. It's already been been declared that we're gonna get the victory. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Second Ezra, where it said, "What are these? You know, who are these? Yeah. You know, mm. that they he crowned it. You yeah. know, yeah. it's already said that they ever gonna get crowned. It's already said, New Jerusalem coming down. There you go. Man. You know. So, but you got other guys out here preaching a whole nother narrative, man, that doesn't have anything to do with the end time prophecies. Okay? Bringing out things that don't even need to be spoken about in this time. Not bringing out the valuable information about the MOT to the B. Right. Okay? This thing is in the works. Yeah. Okay? It's right here. Right now. Okay? And you're not speaking about it? What's, what, what's up with that? Okay? It's evident that you've taken a Faustian deal. Okay? That's all it could be. Yeah. Right. Well, you just so fucking stupid. Oh, you so stupid. I doubt if they that stupid. I really doubt if you that stupid. Okay? You that stupid, you're going to lead a, a, a hundreds of uh, thousands of men in the way of destruction because you don't want to say what you know. That's okay? the Lord. It's the Lord, though, man. There you go. At the end of the day, yeah, the Lord controls everything, man. Finish that scripture, bro. And when it, this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. All right, then you're going to consider, man. Then you're going to know, oh, man, these are the real men of the Lord. Yeah, like 2012. Guess what, guys, the signs were right. Yeah. That 
Sharp Rock Gang Scripts? Yeah, I have. I have. It's fucking sun, man. Yeah, bro. Beating down on us. It's messing with the Hey, hey, but be grateful. We're on the West, West Coast. You want to be on the East Side right now? Nah. Praise the Lord, man. So, Sirach 32 and 14. It says, Whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. And they that seek him early shall find favor. Hey, and that's what we all trying to strive. That's what we all hope to receive yeah. in the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. The day that he that's brings that's judgment true. upon everybody. All right, we hope to find favor in, the, in his sight. And it all starts by seeking him early before <laughs> the judgment comes. Not seeking it, him early when the judgment comes. We want to seek him early before it comes. Verse 13, uh, 15. He that seeketh the law shall be filled therewith. But the hypocrite will be offended thereat. All right, that was it. Going back to the, you know, Most High controls everything. See all these, all these other camps going off. That's the will of the Most High, man. He's in control, man. He's the writer, as we always say. You know, he's the writer, director, producer of this thing that we're dealing with right now. This is our Proverbs 16 and 1. The preparations of the heart and man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Yeah, so preparation, whatever you prepare in your mind, what you're going to do, that's all from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. So you just got to play your role, man, and pray and be hopeful that you're on the right side. You know? Yeah, let's get into these prophecies, man. You got something? Yeah, go into the Lord's vision and the Lord's vision. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right, and how do you measure the times? You gotta you gotta know the script. You gotta you gotta dig into what the Lord spoke spoke of that will happen in these times, man. You know? This is the measurement right here. Take what's going on on the earth and filter it through the prophecies, man. Go ahead. And when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and the Lord is visiting this world. You know? The Lord is visiting this place, man. May the Lord continue to visit this goddamn place, because this shit sucks. Yeah. You know, being in fucking America, being in captivity, yeah. being under these fucking heathens, man. This shit's, this shit's horrible, man. Right, 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 right now on the East Coast, the Lord is visiting it with a crazy blizzard storm to where a lot of people, their air conditioner or heater is not working. Yep. You know? So they're going to be in hell with no power. A lot of people with no power. A lot of people are dying, man, really. Yep. That's what's really going on. A lot of people are dying. A lot of people are sick. But it's judgment of the Lord, man. Wow. Made more people die, man. That's right. You know? May the Lord strip all the fucking joy out of this goddamn place. Yeah. Right. All that's going on over there in Europe is that energy yeah. crisis. You know? That pipeline that got blown up, a lot of people don't have that energy for heat. Yeah. So it's going to be a cold winter over there. That cold winter's coming over here. Best you know? believe something's going to happen on the West Coast. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Right. The Lord might cause a massive fucking earthquake. I don't know, man. Hopefully, right. man. Yeah, Lord's will. Humble these pie ass Californians. Yeah, man, it's all, it's, the weather's all weird. You know, it'd be cold and it's hot. Yeah. Like next week, it's supposed to rain all week. Yeah. But it's fucking 80 degrees right now. <laughs> Makes no goddamn sense, man. Go ahead. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Right, I mean, make, making it prophecy, the fact that it was spoken already, yeah. you know? But now, somebody grab Habakkuk 2, 3. Now, this is the time where, you know, these things are going to play out on the earth. Go ahead. And it says, even from the beginning, like for like, as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. The word manifest means evident, plainly seen, 
And if you got the eyes to see, if you're not living under a fucking rock, you can see that this is definitely the end. The scriptures say the end of all things is at hand. So all these events that are, man, something's happening every week, man. Pretty much every day. Strange things, man. People are coming out the house, the whole block is iced. Not snow, iced. iced. When the hell have you ever seen that, man? And that shit don't melt. That shit is a different type of ice. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm seeing all type of TikToks, man. People sliding down the street. You know, all of that, man. And as long as I, you know, not as long, but, you know, time I've been in the troop, I ain't seen that shit. So, strange things are happening, man. That shit, how you thinking? Oh, shit, this, this might just be the end. It is the end. Hey, yeah. best believe things are happening. Things are happening and it's not being reported. Oh, yeah. That's a good point, huh? Yep. Because that would scare people from being in that holiday spirit. Like, people dying. They're not reporting all the deaths from the people taking that juice. They're not reporting all the deaths from people dying, the whole, all the homeless dying that are freezing out, uh, freezing over. Animal, here it is. Animals are freezing. Frozen. I've seen videos of them. Animals you telling me humans ain't, uh, ain't yeah. fucking freezing? Here, man. Animals live in harsher conditions, you know. Man, so you, the homeless is definitely dying out here. And it says, um, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works, and ending in effects and signs. Right, we're seeing all these signs. Right. We're seeing all these wonders, man. And we pray, man. 2023, man. Yeah. Will be the year, man. No, the year closer to the second coming of our Lord Yahweh. We're shy. hoping that second coming is 2023, man. Yeah. You know, fuck another year in this goddamn God forsaken ass kingdom, man. Yeah. This shit is horrible, man. Hey, like the apostle said, man, all the pieces are in place. Yeah, you man. Know, the digital, uh, digital currencies in place. World War Three is in place. You know, with Russia. That's just gonna expand even more. You know. So everything's in place for some truth is out truth is yeah truth is out it's been, it's been teached across the four corners of the earth hey, about to go digital. hey this go one ahead. this one jake went to the bank trying to take out ten thousand dollars to help someone buy a car and they didn't have any money in the bank you know i'm showing you yeah. they getting rid of that cash man by the time that you people uh was sleeping enjoying christmas and shit the new years next thing you know you, you're gonna wake up to the, the reality of shit, man. Yep. And it says, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and ending in effects and signs and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed. Why you keep stopping, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> I thought you were shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see by salvation in my land and within my borders for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning all right read that part again verse seven and it says in everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape all right we know that the ones the only ones that are going to be saved are the israelites yeah. so-called negroes suspense and native americans man but it's the elect, the Israel, the Most High, that's going to be saved, man. Yeah. That yeah. was set up from the beginning to receive salvation. That have the faith along with the works. Scripture say faith without works is dead. Yeah. So you got to have both. You know, we sh like these people can see our faith. They might not agree with it, but they can see the faith, the, the faith in our actions, man. It sees in our Yep. Hey, that one pastor dude. Uh, I think Pastor did a video about it. He's like, them, them Hebrew guys are zealous. They're over, overly zealous. Yeah. Because these people know we have faith. You know? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's what's going to get us saved. Faith in your how about your mouth shy, man. Let's give a speak of the stability of that times. I'm a wana is that word in the Hebrew, man. Stability. I'm a wana. Which goes back to faith. That's going to keep us stable. That's going to keep your mind. You know what? You know, it's gonna it's gonna provide the proper perspective when these events begin to roll out. Yeah, uh, hey, Job five and nineteen, Lord yeah. will deliver us from six troubles. Yeah, and the seventh that Shalom will touch thee. We gotta live. We got we, we read it and we believe that man. 
Yeah, they say knowing is half the battle. The fact that we know when these things are coming, you know, right. unlike the, unlike unlike these, this world, they don't even know, they don't expect these events to happen. They even consider it. They don't consider it. They don't believe it. Yeah, they can't see it. Get Ezekiel 12. Ezekiel 12 and 21. That's why you got to be faith-based. You got to be a faith-based Israelite. Man. The faith has to be your foundation, man. your rock. Rooted, established in the truth, man. That's right. That's what's going to get you through those last days, you know. Like yeah, brother said, you know, wisdom and knowledge and stability of thy times. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21. Oh, God, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that he have in the land of Israel? Saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Right, that's the mind of our people. They said the days are prolonged and every vision further, man. That's right. As yep. if the prophecies are not as, are not true. We've been hearing that the end of the world is going to happen in 2005, yeah. 2000. We're in 2022. Yeah. We're, still, we're still here. So the scriptures say no man knoweth the day nor hour. That's the that's the my, that's what shit Jake say, man. I they don't. You got it, bro. I see a lot of um, Jakes in these sports comments. They're like, oh, this guy's going to be the future in the next 10, 20. Five years, you know, they don't see anything happening to America. Hell you know? nah, bro. They don't see the Lord coming back. They, 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 their mind gets sad if they were to consider that. Yeah. yeah. They got, they got, they got, they got future plans. They can see themselves balling out of control with a baddie on their side, mm. with a nice whip. Yeah, exactly. They can't see themselves ruling over the so-called white man. They can't see themselves with slaves, you know, with a palace, with, 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 with beautiful virgins, his wives, and and the thousands of children, they can't see that. They don't want to. Yeah, they can't see themselves in a chariot dipping through the universe, man. They don't believe that. You know? Man. They they rather they rather remain a fucking slave, man. Hey. And deal with the goddamn uh devil's money, man. Hey. Hey. Is Israel spoiled? Why is he become a homeborn slave? Yeah, man. We don't have that mentality, man. We put that shit off. That was an old man. Hey, but why? We have the truth, like the scripture says. We have faith. We have a vision. All right. The truth shall make us free. Shall make you free. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I forgot where we was at. Uh, yeah, keep going. And it says, the days are at hand, and the effect of Read every... It over. Start over, man. Okay, I got you. I... Verse 23, Ezekiel 12. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai. I will make this proverb to cease. Right, the Lord said he's going to make it to cease. Why? Because they're going to be happening in real time. And you ain't going to be able to have an opinion about whether something is real or not. It's going to be happening, man. Go ahead. And they shall no more use this proverb, use it as a proverb in Israel. Right. But and say, when it says in Israel, it's not talking about in the land of Israel, man. It's talking about amongst you people, man, in your mind. Go ahead. But say unto them, the days are at hand. The days are at hand, man. Go ahead. And the effect of every vision. Man, it's about to happen, man. Nobody grab that Habakkuk, huh? I got it right here. Okay. Grab that Habakkuk, man. It's uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, the visions that the men of the Lord have received. Okay, the Lord gave them dreams, visions, told them to write it down. But it's for an appointed time. Go ahead. But at the end, it shall speak. Are we not at the end? Is not Esau Edom ruling? Is not everything that the scriptures say that was going to happen, Yahweh Shai said was going to happen, is happening? We at the end for sure, fourth quarter. Yeah. Twelfth round. Yeah. You know? And they can't say nothing about the MOTB no more about they it. They can't say nothing about, about nothing. Nothing, right? There ain't no more, no talks Good. about conspiracy. It's happening in front of you, man. Especially after goddamn 2020, man. When they shut the whole world down, now that's about to be three years ago. Right. So the Lord is shortening the days. Hey, it can happen again. That shit felt like last year. Mm -hmm. hey, it can happen again. Look at all those. Uh, it's going to happen again, yeah, but it's yeah, going to yeah. be the real thing. Right. That was a live exercise. That was to see how docile you goddamn people are. Yep. And to put that, 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 that shit within you. Hey, at that, that time, the grinding slowed. But this time, the grinding going to cease. Woo. Okay. Yeah, the grind, the grind ceased a lot, a lot, a lot back then. 
A lot of motherfuckers lost their jobs. A lot, a lot of shit stopped. Hey, yeah. bro, you have people apologizing to conspiracy uh, theories, people that bring out conspiracy. They're pretty much apologizing to the prophets. Because you now... stupid-ass people. I'm yeah, sorry, y'all. Right. Now they see the truth. I was going to say, you stupid-ass people don't understand. The government put that word out there, man. Yeah. Conspiracies. Yes, it was a term created by the... You know what I'm saying? Like, That's people to protect are fucking, him. Yeah. You people are fucking idiots, man. You okay. know, we just coming raw today, man. You know, you people are goddamn idiots, man. It's part, a part of our suffering to have to be around you dumbass people, man. You know? You can't have it you can't even have an intelligent conversation with nobody, man. Mm -hmm. This shit is goddamn sad, man. It is. All this shit going on, nobody wanna talk about it. Go ahead, bro. Quick one, real quick. Jim? No, no, no. Finish that before. But at the end it shall speak. Read over, all right? Uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And not lie, man. Everything y'all about Shemal Shah said is faithful and true, man. It's going to happen. That's right. That's why we're able to be so confident about it, man. That's why we're able to give up our lives for it. Because it's going to happen, man. Okay? Ain't no gamble here. This ain't a gamble. We're not gambling with our, with our lives. It's a sure thing. It's a sure thing, man. The scripture said we have a sure word of prophecy, man. Yeah. Right. It's certain, man. And, and we're not giving up. We're saving our life with this, man. Yeah. Well, that's we, the scripture. Right? He that loses his life shall gain life eternal, man. Mm -hmm. But you people that try to save your lives, yep. you're going to lose your fucking life, man. Yeah. They tried to save their life by getting that juice. Yeah. Now look at you. In the grave somewhere. Or you got bail positive. Yep. Are you think you're you're sick as all hell. Yep. You know? Go ahead, bro. Well, the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Is not the prophecy speaking? Is not the Lord visiting this earth, man? Watch, watch January 2023. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see if the Lord don't cause some type of something, something out here, man. You can't really predict what the Lord mm -hmm. gonna do. You never can really predict it. It just happens. <laughs> That's why you gotta stay ready. Stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Go ahead. Throw it, Terry. Wait for it. Right, throw it, Terry, man. And that's a, that's a child right there. The fact that it seems like it's tearing. What does the word Terry mean, huh? Yeah, to wait, to delay. It seemed like there's a delay there, right? And the scriptures say, um, hope deferred, make it the heart sick. You know? Because we want this thing, all right? We want this thing to happen already, man. These events rolling out, playing out, it's better, better than having to wake up and go to work. Yeah, right. It's better than having to be a fucking slave, man. And have to, have to bullshit with people all goddamn day. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. How's all this? Oh, it's bullshit, man. All they do is brag about shit. Oh, my God. Brag about this, I got so. a house, I got a job, I'm getting a new position, and all that, they're buying this. Like, shut the hell up, man. They're just Lord trying Jesus. to pacify themselves. Yeah. Because they know shit is bad. Yeah. And they're trying to put in their head that everything's okay. When they know everything is not okay, man. You can tell by the way the government is, is uh, running itself that yeah. nothing's okay. Man, you can okay. feel it in the air. Exactly. Yeah. You can feel it in the air, this shit ain't cool, man. When you go to the grocery store, you know nothing is okay, man. I just seen a post. Eggs was like almost $10 for a dozen. Okay? So you gonna be okay with that when bread is $15 a loaf? Okay? Going too low there, buddy. Huh? 15 is probably my 50. Yeah, 50. <laughs> These days are coming, okay? Because your, your powers that be, okay? They are setting it up to where you will have to be totally dependent on them. And they're gonna force you by way of starvation to get that MOT to the B. Okay? This thing is real. I got a quick one. No, no, hold uh, on. You hold got, on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You, you done, done with that? No, no, I wanna make a point of that, Terry. Okay. Keep going. Bro. It's all good, bro. Know it, Terry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. All right, know it, Terry, man. Right, though, it, though it's a delay, we hear year after year, just open. 
Uh, read that part again. Don't tear it. Wait, wait for it. It said, wait for it, man. And that's that's what that's where the patience come in at, man. Yeah, you know it sucks, but man, the Lord gonna come through, man. Go happen? I mean, go go ahead. Throw it, Terry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. Right? It will not tarry. Right, it's gonna happen. Yeah. It will not tarry, man. It's gonna surely come. Go ahead, I'm sorry. This is uh, it's an old favorite, Revelation 12 and 12. Brother, grab it for him. Grab it for him. Revelation 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, man. And woe means death and destruction, man. Go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devils come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Exactly. He knoweth that he has but a short time, so he's coming down with his great wrath, man. That, that CB, DC, okay the famine all these things are coming as great wrath really from the lord but by the devil okay yeah. it's the tool that the lord is using exactly to execute his wrath these things are happening right now you can't deny it okay you can't deny that the little 20 dollars you used to go to the store and get some food you could bring home a bag of groceries now you could carry 20 dollars in your hand Okay, well, from what you're coming out there with, man. Hey, that brother you charged said the $20 is the new, no, the $100 bill is the new $20. Yeah, yeah. basically. And the $20 bill is the new dollar. Yep. And it says, rejoice ye heavens. The scripture says uh, a righteous man will tear for a, a moment. No, a righteous man will bear for a time. Bear, 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 bear for, for a time. Bear for a time. And afterwards, joy shall spring upon him. And afterwards, joy shall spring upon him. So we're going to rejoice when... All of this is, is coming down, man. And when we see the prophecy of the Karag M.A., you know, and uh, um, we see that the Lord is about to bring World War III and return, man. We're going to rejoice when this damn devil come down. Because why, we know it's over for him. That's why I say watch as well as pray, okay? Because you don't know what time that the Lord is coming. So you got to be prepared, man. That's why you got to stay in the Word. You got to stay in His truth. You can't walk outside and go back into the world, man. Because Hell the no. things that's in the world is is all gonna get destroyed, man. So, it's, it's it's set up to be deceived. Everybody in the world is deceived, man. They they over here, they're like uh that, that horse with with that's chasing the carrot, they got the string of the carrot right in front of it, and he just keeps walking, he'll never get it. Okay? You'll never get the things that Esau promised you in this world, man. Unless you sell out. Unless you sell out, and then you still, <laughs> you get it for a moment. Look what they're doing with Tory Lanez right now. Yeah, they, they blackball him. Bro, he, he, had, he had to say, he had to say something. He had what do you mean, something. bro? He went independent, bro? Yeah. yeah. He was speaking, yeah. he was talking shit against these fucking record labels, bro. He's making money without so Esau, saying. bro. So they, they, now that they put this nigga away in 20 years. <laughs> that shit is fucked up, man. Over nothing, over yeah. a lying ass bitch. Yeah. But hey, whatever. Yeah. Fuck that dude, man. He put out yeah. a, a negative vibration on our people. You know, always yep. talking about trap houses and all that shit. You know? Yeah. Fuck that dude, man. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> no. He should have stayed his ass in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the, yeah, why would you stay in the United States? Let's take your ass to Canada and shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 15. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Oh, that's the scripture. That's, our, that's the mind of our people. Uh, get that scripture, uh, uh, Micah 7 and 10. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Go ahead. They say, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. Wow. Great scripture. I, that's that's our people, man. Our people ain't shit. Hey, but the Lord said uh, he's not slack concerning his promise. That's right. But what some men will count slackness, man. So the Lord will give a fuck if you if you think in your head just because it's taking a long time that it's not gonna happen. 
You know what I mean? Just like a motherfucker waiting for a bus. You know? The bus might be tearing and, and this motherfucker end up walking. Yep, and then ten, ten minutes later, you, that bus drive right by your ass. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you couldn't wait. Yep. You know? And now you're running trying to catch it at the nah, next nah, stop. Nah, 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 it's gone. It's <laughs> gone. The bus is gone. Ain't no, no next stop. That's another stop. You know what I'm saying? But... But I, okay, you're right, you're right, right. There ain't no another stop for the for, for this truth. Man. <laughs> He's <laughs> gone. Hey, hey, brother, you missed your chance. You be leaving people? You... Oh. <laughs> but the bus has a schedule. Exactly. So, hey, the Lord has a schedule on, on how he set everything up, man. Read that again. And it says, Jeremiah 17 and 15, Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. Is it more than that? As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee, neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. That's right. I'll get that scripture. I have it. Go ahead. Right. Get it. Micah 7 to 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto right, me. Going to you, goddamn women. You are you are a damn enemy, man. So mainly you fucking nigger woman, man. So called Negro woman, you are you are the enemy to the Israelite man. You Latino woman, you Native American woman, you are an enemy, man. Mm -hmm. I seen a, a news on an end up. She starved her baby for five months, five months straight. Maybe to get back at the man. Hey, ain't surprising. Yeah. These bitches are evil yeah, as fuck. Man. Damn. Women are the, the most evil creatures behind Esau, man. My humble opinion. Well, the Bible say that all wickedness is but little. But the wickedness of a woman, man. Okay? Yeah. Through her came sin, you know? We all die. Through her, yeah, we all die. Well, fuck you, woman, all right? Yep, if you don't want to get in line, all right? Micah 7 and 10, that she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Right, the point is, she said, Where is the, where is, where is the Lord thy God? Where's your God, basically? You know? Hey, it says, Mine eyes will behold her. So we're going to witness the judgment that's going to happen upon her as we not believe. Just like the scripture says, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. All right? We're going to see you, the unfaithful, die of their unfaithfulness. Yep. I got Bruce up. It's, uh, 2 Peter 3, 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts. Right. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Uh, beautiful scripture. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning. All right, that's how the people creation. mind. They really think the prophecy is not real. They really think these things are not going to happen, man. That's why, oh man, I'd be begging the Lord to just bring it. Please, Lord, you know, please. Yeah, like, here's, here's our prayers. It's just that, like we read in Habakkuk, and it, that vision is set to happen at a point to time. Yeah. So each each day that goes by in this place, we're getting closer to those visions, like the uh, paragma, the, the Jacob's trouble. Uh, the pestilence, the famine, all these evils, we're, we're getting close to these visions finally happening. Yeah. Where, where, where this is going to be the biggest, I told you so, what has ever been said on earth. That's right. Because the Lord has been telling you, you through the mouth of the, of these prophets, through the mouth of his prophets, he's been telling you what's going to happen. But you people don't want to believe. No. The, Lord said, the Lord says that you know, he's a man that he should not lie. So even though we're not seeing it, we're seeing the prophecies. But these prophecies have to come to pass. First, and then the Lord will send back his son Yahweh Shah. That's what our people don't understand. That's why, why is it taking so long? Where's the promise of his coming? Where's he at? Well, we're seeing it right now. The Lord's calling his way, man. What's going on in Ukraine? What's going on with the digital dollar? You know, we're seeing we're seeing the list that the Lord said to look after. He gave us the list of prophecies that we should look forward to. Wars, rumors of wars, you know, up wars of people. We're seeing that. We've been seeing that. You know? And we've been seeing that. That's been happening heavy the last 10 years. Yeah. But our, going, yeah. our people still don't consider though. Okay? They don't consider the Lord. 
you know, because Esau put so many things out there, so many things that's enticing to them. Distractions. Distractions to make them want to stay in the world, man. But the, but the scripture said to what? Come out of her, man. Because yeah. it's polluted. It's going to destroy you. Yeah. This place is going to destroy you. They're not willing to, to give up their lives. Yeah. They're not willing to lose, man. Hey, well, what the Lord say? Make the heart fat. And all the thing that's in this world is making these people's minds fat to yeah. keep them focus on so they won't hear this word so at the end of the day the Lord's not coming to save everyone no. he's only coming back to save his elect which consists of 12 twelve thousand out of each 12 uh, out of each tribe all right well, that's it we got our people out here trying to debunk everything that the, the prophets bring out they try to debunk it okay saying yeah. that we shouldn't be out here calling ourselves Hebrew Israelites okay this is this is a doctrine that's going around Okay, and we are not the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, that that er, the Lord loves everybody. Okay, He just didn't come from what? What kind of God would just come for one particular person or one particular people? God loves everybody. Okay, but when you read the scriptures, it don't say that. It say He hated Esau. But they God don't hate. So what God do you serve? You know, your 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 God you're saving is worse than Satan. Satan hates, okay? So what God are you serving that don't hate, okay? The scriptures also say out of all the families of the earth, you are the only ones that I've known. Yeah. So what are you talking about? The Lord doesn't See? The Lord doesn't hate. The Lord only cares about one group of people. You can right. read, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can read that scripture to them, but they don't, they don't give a goddamn. Mm -hmm. They don't give it. They're going to come with some bullshit yeah. rebuttal. So it, it ain't about truth with you people, man. It ain't about it ain't about truth with you. It's about your emotions and how you feel. Yeah. So hey, feel. man. Hey, hey you hey. know the, the scripture was it Jeremiah ten talks about the Christmas tree. Yeah. A mm -hmm. oh, uh, uh, Judite woman got on there on the on the internet talking about y'all talking about that. That's not talking about a Christmas tree. Can't get around that. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's so plain. <laughs> it's so plain. But they would want to debunk everything that we have to say as men, okay? So that's why that scripture is so important. Read that again, Michael 7 and 10. I it. Even if it ain't talking about Christmas, scripture say, learn not to wear the heat. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, whatever. But it is, yeah, yeah. okay? That's it, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Michael 7 and 10, then she that is my enemy shall see it. Yep, cause, cause you, you are our enemy, man. Okay, because everything we have to say, you have something to say a negative against it. Okay? No, that's not what that's talking about. As if you've studied. Okay? As if you've gone into the scriptures, you've dealt, dug into the words, the re root meanings of words. You've done nothing but complain and talk about you don't need a man. Where everything you got come from a man. Okay? Yeah, and if you're listening to this black woman, you, I mean, you're crazy, you're out of your mind, you damn self. The only thing this black woman has ever done is fuck shit up. That's the only thing she's ever done. And that goes across all nationalities, going back to Eve, this black bitch. So we're not even really listening to that bitch, man. Bro, I, I can't believe this Hebrew Israelite woman came out of her mouth and said, hide your nine-year-old daughters from the men of GMS. Like, what the fuck? That was recent. She said that the woman posted this. Fuck all that shit, man. Ignore it. Yeah, man. That's why they are enemies. Like, what the hell? Where did that come from? got nine-year-old daughters and shit like that. Man, we ain't entertaining that bullshit. Yeah. Let's get these scriptures, man. Where was that? Trinity Michael. Yeah, I've seen Peter's all this good stuff. This brother called Michael. Michael 7 to 10. Michael 7 to 10. The sheet that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord that God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Yeah, that's woman. Yeah. Right. You don't pay attention to the woman. The scripture say, you know, in that day, seven women are going to take hold to one man. And she's going to want to give up her last name for your protection. You know, she's going to want to take on your name, I should say. That's the scripture say. So don't listen to what this goddamn woman. She's our enemy right now. But she's going to come around, you know, when 911 looks she's looking for 911. Right now, these bitches in comfort. So she's in Capernaum right now, so she's gonna run her mouth. But when times gets hard and shit ain't comfortable no more, that's when that bitch is gonna come around, man. You don't take these women seriously like that. You know? Don't come around me. 
Don't give your power to these damn dancers. women. You know? Don't give your damn power over to these women, man. Don't give your mind over to these women, man. Hey, a good example, I did a lesson about it yesterday. Um, Samson, as soon as she found out his strength, she mm. crippled his strength, man. She had a dude come in and cut it, shave his hair, and then was afflicting him, hitting him to see if he was hurt. So women would destroy your, they find out your strength. They, they're always trying to overthrow you. But yeah. even look at Solomon, when he got in his older age, that's when the women, you know, uh, changed his heart. When he was, they were, they were looking for an opportunity. You know, because when you're up in age, your wits ain't like that as, as he was when you was younger. John, like you read Micah, you said that shame shall cover her, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it said? This is uh, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold to one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So when that shit goes down, man, they're going to be ashamed for the things that they say. Like with the brother, like you said, these new men are GMS. They're the ones that the most likely going to raise up, you know? She's going to be shameful for that. She's going to go to a man at GMS, Great Millstone, to be called by his name, to take away that approach, or, or, or approach, you know? Hey, just like, just like uh, that, that interview, I think I said it last week, about the, the ask a woman, whether we, what, would she rather have an uh, Instagram account or a, a good man? They all said the Instagram account. Yeah. Because they don't need no man on this side. Right. You know? yeah, they don't say, need no man. It's going to say a woman shall compass a man. These bitches are on top right now. Both sides going to take that away, you know? She said she hasn't found a man that can give her what an Instagram account can give her. Okay? That's crazy. <laughs> all right. The man gave you the Instagram account. Yeah. Okay? The Instagram is going to do when the power goes out. Let's see if he comes in and... Yeah, see and if Instagram, that, log up Instagram, yeah. and, and we'll turn the lights on, clink, clink, clink. Right. We're going to buy the food, boom, boom, boom. We're going to fight the guys that's knocking at your door that's about to break in. We're right. going to fight right. them, okay, because all these things are about to happen. The, the systematic breakdown of society is happening. They're showing you, telling you that there's not going to be any funding for the police. There's not going to be any funding for any type of justice, man. Okay, certain places that if you're somebody's knocking and robbing at your door, they say, Well, we can't do anything until a crime has been committed. <laughs> sure. Come on, man. Don't forget about Chicago. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was unnecessary, asshole. But yeah, shit about to get wild, man. Yeah. Was that right. something? Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. I right, learn not the way of heathen, man. All these pagan ass holidays, man. All this shit goes back to Satan. Yeah. And our people have learned it from uh, Esau Edom. You know, you've been indoctrinated, going to the schools and all this shit. You know, that's not, that's not our custom. As Israelites, you yeah, know? our people thought our history will always learn the ways of the heathen. That's why when we were, that's why when we were going to the Promised Land, what did the Lord specific specifically tell our people, tell Moses, to tell our people, multiple times, to kick out all these other nations because they're they they were going to become a snare onto you, yeah. and that's what happened. It became a snare onto us, man. You know, because we're going to learn their ways, learn, learn their. Learn how they worship their gods, which are no gods but idols. Right, so learning the way of the heathen has always been a snare onto our people, even onto this day, man. But they're supposed to learn from us. Right. And they are going to learn from us when the Lord Yahweh Shai establishes kingdom here on earth exactly. and makes us makes us kings and priests. The reason why we're gonna be priests, because what is the priest's job? They teach the laws. Alright, and mediators. We, right. They teach the laws to the of, of, of the most high to the people. Alright, and all Israel is going to teach the laws of the Most High to these other nations, man, because these other nations, they're going to be subject onto us, and they're going to have to keep our laws, okay? They're going to be forced to keep our laws, yeah. all right? Even if they resist, even if they if they break them, we, we, won't, we, won't bring, we won't bring that judgment upon them, man. That's right. They better know this is Right. <laughs> so what happens when we resist Esau's laws. What does he do to us? He throws you in jail, puts you in prison for breaking his laws, yeah. or gives you a ticket. For, 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 
for for speeding too fast or for breaking a or committing a, a traffic violation right well when when you heathens in our kingdom you're gonna keep our laws man all right you're gonna keep the sabbath the high holy days oh yeah all right everything everything all 613 of, of them and we're not gonna we're not gonna trump up false charges on you no. saying that you broke a law that you didn't even break okay or make up a law so you say oh see you broke this law you just the ink not even dry on that law yet you just see me do something and now you made a law say i can't do it okay that's why the scriptures say that the, the heathen will, will, will rejoice you know when uh, the righteous are in authority right yeah because we're going to keep the laws right because the laws are fair you know yeah we're going to rule with integrity man yeah no, but hey, that's that's who we are, man. We're the, we're the Lord's people. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna worry about us having to take your woman in slavery. You know, we're gonna enslave you. So that's gonna be your wife. You know. It's good to say that the laws are not grievous, man. Okay. These laws are, are not hard to keep. Okay. But your wickedness make them hard to keep. Okay. And that's what we're gonna beat out of these nations, man. That wickedness. They're gonna, they're gonna forever be wicked. Especially Moab eating live squids and shit. Oh man. Yeah, you ain't gonna do that in the kingdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, I got some squid gonna snitch on your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna come and fuck you up. Go ahead. It's Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn yeah, nothing. Right there. That's uh, you there. <laughs> you got nah, go ahead. Hit the point on that. Okay. Uh, verse 3. Because these people are in that fucking spirit, man. Yeah. Verse 2 it says, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. What are the, uh, some examples of the signs of heaven? The chariots, the, 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 the sun being eclipsed, the moon turning into blood, all right, the sun being darkened. All right, those are, those are some of the signs of, of heaven, but mainly the chariots, in which when the heathen see it, especially Esau, they're afraid. All right, because they don't know what it is, okay? But it says, verse 3, For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Right, like the what, what, what tree is used for Christmas? Uh, pine tree. Fern. Evergreen tree. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, fir tree. Yeah, evergreen. Yeah. Yeah. For the customs of the people are vain. But one cutteth the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Verse 4, they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. That's the that exact ritual that you people do. Yeah. Every fucking December or November. That's the exact ritual, man. You, you go to these goddamn places to get a tree, Go through all that trouble just to get the tree in your house. You know, it's just be dirty too. Mm -hmm. They make a trail look at more. They have bugs in there, all kind of animals in it. It ends up dying. And then you deck it, you know, put all type of ornaments on it. Put a star at the top. Hey, this is demonic spirit. That's like a, someone making their own idol. That's what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it goes back to. It goes it's back to the celebration of the winter solstice, man. And you know, that that's all sun worship at the end of the day. You know? They put the little star at the top of it too. Yeah. Yeah, I seen a tree the other day. I was on the freeway and they had a trailer, with an open back trailer, and had like maybe about 30 or 40 trees on it. Them Christmas tree. And they all looked like they just looked sad. They was looking, they was just hung <laughs> over like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, I damn near feel for these trees. Yeah, you know they, what they I'm got, saying? They gotta, be, they gotta deal with being chopped down. Yeah. I got, I got a precept. For no fucking reason. Yeah. I got a precept. Uh, the book of Isaiah, 14. chapter 14, verse yeah. <laughs> 8, right? Let me let this uh, ambulance thing pass by. So, Isaiah 14 and 8. Yeah, the fir tree. I'll start from 7. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. All right, this is after the, the Lord takes out this damn Edomite. Because the, 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 the world, def, the earth is not def, definitely not at rest. All right, the earth is catching hell on you goddamn Edomites, man. Hey, like uh, I was reading uh, the, uh, Leviticus and it goes into the uh, land Sabbath. 
how six years you're supposed to uh, 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 sow and plant, and the seventh year you're supposed to uh, you're supposed to give the land rest. Esau doesn't do that. Hold on, now you got to You got to right. time it, bro. He, time he, it. Esau, Esau doesn't do that, man. He doesn't. He doesn't give the earth rest. Why do you think, for example, with the Gadites, the Native Americans, they were always moved from one place to another. You know, there's a reason for that. Okay. Hold on, brother. Let's put it. Oh, no, I was going to show the tree real quick. Sit up, bro. I didn't mean to cut you off, dog. The scriptures are on point. Yeah. It's a Christmas tree. No one has an evergreen tree as two, uh, too, because it's green all year. All right, so those trees are called evergreen trees. Go ahead. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the setters of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. All right, and that's feller is the one that be chopping the trees, man. Mm -hmm. yep. So yeah, we going in our kingdom. We ain't gonna be chopping these trees down for no reason. You know? Hey, like we're not gonna be killing our animals for no reason. You know? We have Esau going to Africa and kill an, uh, 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 one of a, a, a lion, a male lion, or uh, one of rare black black rhino or, or an elephant. That's that that's low in number. But Just this sport, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, they call it the what? The big eight. Okay, the big eight elephant, lion, probably tiger. And Esau does it with whales, too. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what, did, what did Esau do to the uh, when he came over here? He nearly slaughtered all the buffaloes. Yeah. Just so the Native American, just so Gad can starve to death, man. You wonder why the buffaloes run your ass over every time they see you, man. You go over there to the uh, Yellowstone National Park. Shit, where Yo, about all the bears, bro? Yeah, it's bad. This land was full of bears. Yeah, here in the valley, black bears, now, now coyotes, now wolves. Now you don't see no bears. You know? See, they the main ones talking about save the species. Yeah. Okay, and they're the only one killing the species, man. Yeah, or enslaving the them. Or enslaving them, man. Yeah. You ever seen Avatar? Wow. Not yet. Wow. That's good. Yeah, but they were killing animals. That's good. And taking stuff from that is way even good. It's super okay. good. Super hot. Yeah. I, ain't seen, I ain't seen it because it's three hours long. I don't know about it. Well, I don't want to take my seat to see find. that shit, man. 3D, uh, Nah, uh, hell no. No, I meant real D. That shit was nah, fire, no, bro. I'm good. I was, woo, that was good. Well, let me go back to Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 3. Now, nah, we was done with that, oh, bro. We're done. Oh, uh, Deuteronomy, yeah, here we go. Uh, Deuteronomy 19. What do you want to sign? Uh, 20 and 19. Tw 20 and 19. So, uh, and it says, um, when thou shalt besiege a city a long time in making war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing an axe against them. Wow. For thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down. For the tree of the field is man's life to employ them in the siege. Uh -huh. Wow. Only the trees which thou knowest that they be not trees for me, thou shalt destroy and cut them down, and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that maketh war against thee until it be subdued. Right. So there's only certain trees that we're, we're to cut down, man. Right. You know, even only if you need to, though. Just like with animals. Yep. Only if you need to, like our people was before Esau came. You know, they would, they would just kill the animal just, just, just the ones they need, man. Mm -hmm. And they would use the whole, the whole, you know, they would utilize everything they can from killing that beast. And they're, they're not going to just slaughter the animal just because, man. Right. It's like on the Passover with the lamb. You know, it speaks about, you know, your Just houses. Just for what you need. Right, you know. You don't have a big house, then you share that land with another house, man. Okay. See what the scriptures say. The, uh, the tender mercies of, of the wicked are cruel. Mm. They don't have no love for no beast. They don't have no love for the Lord's creation. Mm. Not at all. You know, you're that red horse. You took peace away from the earth. You know? That's why we're waiting on the Lord to come and stop your ass, man, because you need to be stopped. God damn. Hey, the evergreen tree was put here too because the earth need constant oxygen. 
okay? And them being evergreen, the Lord put the oil on those trees, okay, that pine oil so they don't freeze up. Hey, that pine, when you start a campfire, you put some pine trees, mm -hmm. it smells good, bro. Yep. It's, a, it's another, it's a good feeling, you know? When you smell, it feels like it clears up your lungs. But Esau don't care about the, the natural workings of the earth. He don't care. If he would if he cared, he wouldn't take the, the, the gold and the silver out of the rivers. Oil. The oil out of the earth. Okay? He wouldn't he wouldn't take the animals and put them behind bars. He wouldn't pollute the water, the air. There the you air. Go. Yep. He always got a rule against somebody doing something. But the, the he's the main one doing the most detrimental things to the earth. And, and you know what he does? He blames it on humanity. Yeah. He humanity. Oh, humanity. Yeah, what, right. kind of, what kind of Jake is, is doing the things that you're doing? We don't even run the earth right now, man. We don't run the, we don't have power over the earth. Right? You have all the power of the earth right now, Esau. And look what you're doing to it. Yeah, get down on camera, huh? Yeah. And he had the nerve to accuse us before. Hey, look at, you see the plane flying? The plane is fine right there, the airplane is fine, but it's not leaving uh, nothing but condensation behind and it dissipates quickly, Yeah. okay? But this thing right here that he's putting up there is to destroy the people, man. Yeah, and you tell people like that, they look at you like you're crazy, mm -hmm. you know? Depopulation, yeah. yeah. A good example, if you're able to go to the islands, the water is beautiful, crystal blue, how it's supposed to look. You come to America, the water is green. You can even put your hand in the water and see your hand in the yeah, water. Yeah, bro. Why? Because okay. the, the it takes out the starfish, the selfish. He turns them into pets and shit. He yeah. takes out the turtles. He takes out and put them in the zoos. He takes out the crabs, the lobster, and make them delicacy. You know, it's, yep. it's, shit is off, man. You got you know, testimonies from other brothers that came here, you know, from other countries. You know, they, they're, uh, they got sick because of the food that's here, man. You know, if you're not if you're not used to it, man, you know we're being fed garbage over here. Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Isaiah 24, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the habitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right, you're not sticking to the manual that the Lord gave. Yeah. You know, you're not running things properly, man. Yeah. You abusing every fucking thing, man. You ain't give, like you mentioned, the land rest. I mean, the land Sabbath. You just sucking it dry, man. All right, like, hey, the oil, the, the earth resources. That's like the oil, like you're sucking the dry every day. It's like the earth lubricant, man. You wonder why there's earthquakes in, 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 all, in all these places, man. Right. You know? You wonder why there's more deserts than there are trees and forests. Verse 6, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. All right, who's the curse? Esau. Remember when uh, with the Lord cursed Cain, how uh, he said the earth is not going to basically give full strength to you, man. All right? Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, a few men left. And this is why Yahweh Shah needs to return and come save his elect. Because if he don't return, which he is going to return, but it, but if we don't, we'll all be fucked. We'll all be through. Say, uh, there'll, there'll be no flesh to uh, yes, be saved. Say, right, because when Yahweh Shah does return, they, like, no flesh will be saved. Wow. That's including the animals. Right, too. but this is why the Lord is speeding up the times and having things happen so so he can come save us, so there can be flesh to be saved. Because the ones that are chosen to be saved is the elect, okay? Not everyone is chosen to be saved. Only the 144,000 plus uh, the one third, okay? Yeah, it's like that quote uh, from that guy uh, Oppenheimer. You know, he said he, he's deaf. He's come to destroy your worlds. They're actually making a movie. A movie is coming out about him. But that that, that quote applies to the whole nation, you know, man. Yeah. You know, they are deaf. You know, they they just come to destroy his world. Yeah, they're the problem with the earth. They're the cancer and the virus of the earth that the Lord needs to get rid of, man. All right? The Lord only has the cure to get rid of this virus that's plaguing the whole earth. Yeah, they want to make it illegal for you to call a man a man and a woman a woman, okay? You can't say man and woman no more. You got to 
you gotta say some other crazy, crazy man. I'm, I'm gonna say what I see you as. If you're a man, I'm gonna call you a man. If you're a woman, I'm gonna call you. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. All right, but that's just this world. This wicked ass world. This is why we need to get the fuck up out of here, man. It's All like, right. Yeah, you know it's Esau because people weren't saying that 10, 20 years ago. Oh, yeah, you know, we're yeah. talking about some 50 genders are out here. It's like some idea gets out and, and Esau allows it to, to permeate and to, to build upon it. He could have shut that bullshit down quick. Hey, but that, he, what? Yeah, I was going to say that idea is not even a decade old. Yeah. Good. This is a new thing, like the boy said. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Jack, you're right, man. This is nothing new. Huh? Yeah. You know? But he saw allows this these madness, like these way, doctrines yeah. of devils be pushed out there, man. And he's controlling the planet Earth right now, so he allows it. Most high is gonna take this devil out of power real soon. Man. Hey, bro, a lady told me she got cured from cancer oh, by, and I asked her what was the yeah, treatment. Oh, she said radiation. Yeah, so he saw he's the cancer. The Lord yeah, going okay. radiate him with the missiles, man. Yeah, and not only is the world polluted physically, but when you get Second Ezra 15, verse six, I'll start for five. It says, "Behold," said the Lord, "I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled." So not only is the earth defiled under the inhabitants thereof, it's also polluted. Because of the wicked works that's being done here, man. Yeah. Okay, so this is why the Lord is going to bring remedy to this place. Bring plagues, death, famine, sword, destruction, which is going to get rid of the 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 the, 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 the wickedness, of the, the wicked people that are polluting the whole earth with wickedness. And he's going to bring the ultimate plague, that nuclear missile, yeah. which is going to, which is going to, it's like a two in one. It's going to cleanse the earth from its pollution and it's going to get rid of the wicked. Oh, that's that's here in the earth, man. Not just that, bro. The events leading up to that, man. A lot of motherfuckers gonna die during this time right here. Jacob's trouble and all of that. When this when this financial collapse happens, Fine. a lot of motherfuckers gonna die. A lot of people ain't gonna make it to the news. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna hey, he ain't gonna be able to partake in that. It's, it's an easy thing for the Lord to raise up someone yeah. from the dead so oh, they can yeah. experience it. Yeah, facts. Hey, you okay. can said that. He said. God gonna raise him up the eternal fire. Right? So you can't, hey, you can't escape. That's why it says Hebrews 10, 31, it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. Deuteronomy 32, 9 says he kills, he makes a life, he wounds, he heals. There's none that can deliver out of my hands. So you cannot escape, man. You cannot escape the, your judgment. Even if you die by the pestilence, by the, by the, by Jacob's trouble. It's all judgment. All right, that's your judgment, but the Lord can easily have you, you come out from the dead, all right? And suffer that, man. So you can't escape. Hey, it's but good. even if he doesn't, um, even if they don't partake in the fire, the way you're going to go out is going to be horrible. Yeah. Whatever way you go out, it's yeah. going to be horrible, man. Yeah. And best believe them last seconds of your life, you're going to be fucking terrified, man. Yeah. You're going to wish you was dead, goddammit. When you say some shall seek death, they shall not find it. Ooh. Now we're doing World War I. Mm -hmm. I mean, World War I. Mm -hmm. So how much more in World mm -hmm. War III? A when this place gets invaded, man, oh, people man. don't even know this place gonna be invaded. It's already invaded. <laughs> you know, I, I I can see it, bro. Yeah. I can see motherfuckers coming down on planes, parachuting, coming down, motherfuckers thinking sweet. Blah, blah. Yeah. Have and projects seen? and shit. Mm -hmm. Have y'all seen that movie? It's all quiet in the Western Front. Nah. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it, bro. Never was, even heard of that movie. <laughs> no. hey, hey, we watch that. It's Netflix. It's on. Uh, it's based on World War One. About the trenches, uh, they probably like seven. They said seven million people, soldiers died trying to just gain a few inches. Yeah, because uh, what was popular in that world was that mustard gas, man. They yeah. used to gas them up, which that, yeah. that was a way to go out. Bro. Yeah, that way, that was a worse way to go out. But what came on my mind when I was watching that movie is like, damn, that's World War One. Yeah. World War Two was bad, <laughs> but, but World War Three, I think on top of all that, because why? What's gonna happen in World War Two? What's going to end up happening? When you go Isaiah 95, it says right here, okay? For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Because back in the ancient world, how did they fight? They fought with swords, spears, shields, arrows. It was close combat. All right? If I got a sword and I swap someone, right? Um, his blood shattered on my, my face, my garment, all that, man. 
But this war, right, when it continue reading, it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This is this is why it's gonna be the war to end all war. Because this war, this World War Three, is gonna end up turning nuclear. Alright? And once one nation shoots missiles, the rest of the other nation is gonna shoot missiles. And like the scripture says, spare no arrows. So they're gonna shoot everything they got. It's gonna be a nuclear war, man. Okay, that's why the earth is gonna shield, is gonna shake to and fro like a drug, because there's gonna be so much uh, 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 nukes hitting all at the same time, man. Yeah. Okay. Hey. And the only way to escape this is if if you're brought into the Mosai's chambers, the chariots, or right, what your people call UFOs, or I should say, uh, 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 I, I, uh, IFOs, uh, unidentified un aeronaut phenomenon, But uh, slap you for that. But um, that's what's going to deliver us, man. That's right. Uh, we're not going to be on Earth. Don't think that you could buy a bunker in America and, and, uh, and be safe. Nah, man. The only way to escape this destruction is if if you is if your how Hashem Yashah brings you up into the chariots. Okay. Yeah. Chariots. They play a role in salvation and a curse. Man. Those chariots are going to be a curse to these other nations, specifically Esau as well, man. Because Esau can't explain them. Yeah, I got some. Just uh, going into the mysteries. Uh, the book of Joel 2 1. Blow ye a trumpet in Zion, and the sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And how are we blowing a trumpet in Zion? And this word, man, giving them warning from the Most High, man. Telling them, yeah, these missiles are coming. Yeah, the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. The hour of temptation is coming, man. So we're blowing that trumpet, man. We're lifting up our voice like a trumpet, man. even on Christmas Eve. Right. Yeah, give me that warning. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh and is at nigh at hand. Yeah, that's one of the main things we push, the day of the Lord, man. The day of the Lord is coming. It's yeah. nigh at hand, man. Get right, repent, and return unto the Lord, man. Zephaniah, uh, Zechariah, Zephaniah 1, it says, the day of the Lord is near. It, uh, it is near, it is near. It hastes greatly. Even the mighty men are cry their bitterly. The mighty men are going to cry their bitterly. The mighty men, the strong ones, you know, so called, uh, what we always say, the MMA fighters, or the badasses out here, you know, your Marines, special forces, all that. They're going to cry bitterly out here, man. Hey, That's how bad it's going to get. Yeah, the brother brought out that scripture in Revelation 9 where uh, they're going to want to seek death, and that's talking about World War I. Think about, you know, the time that Jeremiah speaks of, man. It's going to be a time like no other. Right. Where that brother just quoted Zephaniah where, hey, man, the mighty men, they're going to cry bitterly, man. They're not going to know what the hell to do, who the hell to turn to. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey. I mean, they're going to know who to turn to, but it's going to be too late for them. All right? Yeah. Nine. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and as strong, there have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it. There ain't gonna be no days compared to this, you know? Go ahead. Even to the years of many generations. And at the beginning of the verse, it talked about a day of darkness and gloominess, man. What's gonna cause all that darkness and gloominess and thick clouds? And the, the, yeah, that mushroom cloud, man. They're gonna, it's gonna block out the sun. You know, it's gonna be a bad time on the planet Earth, man. Just think about it, when you have like uh, wildfires. Wildfires can block out the sun. You oh, yeah. can't see the sky. Remember, I was in like fifth grade, and the whole there was a uh, big fire like near near in, in another city, but it literally covered the whole sky. It made the whole sky orange. Yeah. I was, I was playing outside, and the whole sky looked up like oh, what the fuck? It looked like some apocalypse. Yeah, you and see that recently. Whole, with these recent wildfires that took place in California the past oh, few man. years. Yeah. Remember Oregon? Oregon yeah. was like fucking like a sci-fi movie, man. Yeah, it was like some apocalypse, man. The whole Stranger sky things. was red. Man. Yeah, yeah. Now it's just little small little wildfires, you know, out here in the desert. Yeah. Imagine when 200 million missiles go off and just completely blocks out the sun, man. Hey, hey, the scripture said it. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick, thick darkness, man. Hey. 
can be so destructive that even these other nations, wherever you're at in other, wherever you're at in other parts of the world, all you gotta do is look up, look towards where America's at, yeah. and you're gonna see the smoke. Yeah, you're gonna see it because that's how great the destruction. You gotta think about America's a big ass land. All right, all right, and and and, and that's and all this land is gonna be turned into one big lake of fire. So obviously, of course, the other, the other, other, the people on the other side of the world are gonna see the destruction. Okay, you can be one of those people that live in the Amazon that's totally cut off from the world, that have no internet. You gonna know something's wrong because of what? The earth is gonna shake to and fro, yeah. and then you're gonna have a, uh, you're gonna have, you gonna see that smoke, man. Not only that, it's gonna be spaceships all yeah. over the fucking planet, man. Yeah. You know, you gonna see you have a side, man. All at the same time. You know. Go oh, ahead, yeah. where was that, man? That's gonna be the only real place of peace. It's gonna be in them chariots. Because the whole earth is gonna be fucking destroyed, pretty much. You know? The whole sun's gonna especially be blocking America. It. Especially America, Israel. Because the whole planet Earth's gonna be fucked up. And the only place of real peace and a parlor is gonna be in those chariots, man. Yeah, think about the, uh, like they say, the nuclear winter. Yeah. The aftermath. All right? Fallout. Yeah, you're gonna have people drinking water. They're gonna. They're gonna die because the water is radiated. Yep. You know, that wormwood, you know? fishes, <laughs> food. Probably, it's probably be a famine because food's gonna die off, man. Yeah. Radiation. People's skin's gonna be all fucked up. Everybody's gonna be all mutated and fucked up out here, man. So New Jerusalem comes down. We're yeah. gonna set things in order. That's right. Okay. Get your scripture out. Oh. You have a Yeah, yeah. It's uh. It's the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. All right, speaking to you, Jakes. Remember the Lord, man. You better get, you better repent and turn to it, Yahweh by Shai. Go ahead. It says, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. All right, don't wait till it's late. I mean, too late. You know, that's the, that's the nature of our people. They like to they like to wait till they back is against the wall to make any fucking moves. You know? Hey, that's how Jake is. They procrastinate yeah. on things. When you're not, when you you don't want to procrastinate on turning to the Lord. They don't they don't procrastinate when it comes to pussy. Don't you don't know. procrastinate when it comes to money. Okay, so don't procrastinate with the Lord. It's good to say, put not get that uh, Surak five seven. Yeah. Putting that off uh, the, the Lord day to day, man. Uh, uh, uh. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Okay. It's Sirach 5 and 7. It says, Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Right, don't delay, man. Be like the, the disciples that straightway follow the Lord. Yeah. That's how serious this thing is, man. Go ahead. Doesn't matter how long you gotta wait, man. It says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perished in the day of vengeance. All right, the scriptures speak over and over about the destruction coming suddenly, man. Yes. Like no heads up about it, man. This is the heads up right here. The fact that the Lord has his men speaking, that's a heads up, that's your warning. So when it happens, there's no fucking surprise. But if you don't pay attention to the warning, if you try to silence it, if you hit that snooze button, then it's gonna hit you, you know, it's gonna hit you suddenly like that, which is a thousand times worse, man, than if you was expecting it, you know? It's like being in a car crash, but you're able to brace for the impact, yeah. opposed to just getting hit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you motherfuckers just going, it's just going to be surprise. Go ahead. Yeah. That's not the, that's not that Thessalonians that the brothers speaking of. Man. Yeah. You know, hey, they think everything is all peace and safety because they haven't been watching what's going on. You know, in the news, this digital currency being pushed out. Man, the, these wars, man, you know, hey, they're just ramping up more and more. Hey, people, people know, there's people out there that know about the digital currency. Yeah. They just don't know. The, the, what's gonna happen in, in order for it to be implanted and how they gotta get rid of this dollar. That's why the, when a dollar collapses, you know, what's what's that gonna cause? It's gonna cause chaos while all these different major cities throughout America are gonna have panic, gonna have looting. We have a lot of people being uh, robbed and raped, and 
you have a lot of chaos and upwards going on, man. All right, because that's what the elites ultimately want. They want chaos in chaos. order to bring the order. Okay. Yep. Uh, let me finish. Uh, this is back in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right, so you want to keep the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, in your mind right now. All right, before the judgment comes, man. All right. You know, before it's you know it's too late, pretty much. Yeah, not Santa and shit. <laughs> not, not all that Our bullshit. People. Yeah. All right. Right. Go back to Joel. Uh, Joel two and three. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burneth. This is going into the nukes. What? The land is as the Garden of Eden before them. Right and before them, the, the nukes uh, uh, hit their targets. No, the earth, earth, earth is eating. Go ahead. And behind them, a desolate wilderness. That's how I was going to leave it. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Mm -hmm. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And it's prophesied that uh, the ones that received that MOTB, yeah. you're going to partake in that destruction. Mm -hmm. Grab that prophecy. Sure do. First, first row tickets, row front seats, all for free. You know what I'm yeah. saying? VIP. Yeah, hey, facts. It's uh, yeah. you got a nuke with your name on it. You want to know? Yeah. It's uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image. All right, and these people worship the beast, man. Yeah. You know, they're already, they already for the new world order. They don't, they don't even know it. They don't even know it, but that's, that's, that's how the devil get down trick you into doing shit yeah. you know you done deceived everybody with this technology thinking that it's furthering you it's furthering humanity no it's a, it's it's further enslaving you yeah it's actually destroying you destroying your mind yeah until uh, until it gets to that device gets within you hey like uh in south korea oh uh, yeah south korea or japan one of those uh countries they had people on their phones so much while crossing the street they had to add um fucking green lights so when the light turns green when, the, when, the, when they can walk the light the lights on the floor will turn green so the people on their phone oh, could just go because people were just dying uh, so much because everyone's on their phone crossing the street getting hit by cars yeah. and that's why these rats fuck wow. man they, they call these people goyim man yeah you, sheep cattle man they don't, they don't man that's simple as hell bro like, that's crazy you can't you can't just pick yeah, up your home cross the street and shit but hey that's how much people that's how much People are stuck in that technology, man. Yeah. That's why when they bring out this uh karagma on you on you, you people gonna be willing to take it, man. You're not gonna a lot of you just gonna be taking it. You're gonna be you're gonna fight to actually take it. It's gonna be the new pair of Jordans everyone kills for, man. Yeah. That's gonna be the solution that Esau provides. Yeah. To get, get you out of your troubles. But that ain't gonna get you out of your troubles. It's gonna bring more trouble to you. Go ahead. It says, if any man worship the beast. And his image, and receive his mark. And receive it, his mark, man. That, that mark is very important. Yeah. Concerning these times, which is the RFID, CHIP, man. Mm -hmm. Get with it or get lost, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, the scriptures are plain, man. All you gotta do is look up uh, that word, you know, for it. It's Karagma. You know, that's an incision, man. That that, that that's, a, that's a mark. That you're his slave. Yeah. It says, uh, it says, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Lord, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Yeah, that's that nuclear fire, man. Yeah. That, that third woe. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You see? So when these, when these things do begin to happen, that's the same day Yahweh Shah is coming. Alright? To save us from this destruction. So they ain't just gonna be nuclear fire that you're gonna be seeing. You're gonna be seeing uh, uh UFOs too. Yeah. You're gonna be seeing the uh Amazing. the greatest the deliverance ever, man. Yeah. Alright, what's coming is the greatest deliverance ever, man. Yeah. Only for these people. Give me that one where it says, what's that, Jeremiah 16? 
14. They ain't gonna talk about e Egypt no more. That's 23. I think it's both. It's definitely in Jeremiah 16 and 14. You know, this is about to be the greatest deliverance ever, man. In my humble opinion, man. Yeah, I wish I was returning. Ain't nothing topping that. So, you want me to start at 14? This is Jeremiah yeah. chapter 16, verse 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, that it shall be no more said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right, and that's still being, being spoken of to this day. Esau makes movies on it. Yeah. You know, it's a great event. That was, that was amazing. You know? Go ahead. It says, But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right, where are we at right now? We're in North America. We're in the land of the north. Can't be more plain, yeah. So this salvation that's coming, woo, it's gonna be nothing like it, man. For one, look what the look look how the Lord is coming, for one. For two, look what the Lord is saving us from. Yeah. You know? Read that again. Yeah, coming. It says, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, live it. No, the whole scripture, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, verse 15. Uh, 14. Oh, 14. Start over. Oh, my bad. It says, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right? The great the great exodus. Right? Go ahead. But the See, Lord. But this time, it ain't going to be all, Egypt, uh, all Israel. It's going to be a portion of Jacob, a remnant of Jacob. Yeah. That the Lord going to say, but the. the the, the, uh, the main deliverance that's going to happen is here in America, man. Yeah. This is what this is the main, the main event is going to happen right here, man. Concerning the nukes and the salvation. Right here, man. It's, I don't want to say ground zero, but this is where it's going to happen. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, the one third, man. That's a lot of men, women, and children. But compared to like two thirds of our people, man, that that is a very small portion of oh, Jake's in America. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. It says, uh, But the Lord liveth that brought up the, the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands with the, he had driven them. See how it makes a, 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 a distinction? Yeah. From the land of the north first, and then from all the other lands that the Lord driven us. And he driven us everywhere. Yeah. So Jacob scattered everywhere. That's why Matthew 24, the angels are going to go and, 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 and beam up the elect. Okay, go, go ahead. In Revelation, it speaks about being a, in a innumerable multitude, man. You know, the, of uh, many uh, many tongues from different nations, man. 144,000, man, they're all over the world. All right? It says, Behold, Salakia. It. it says, and, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah. And of Israel. Uh, what was reading before that? Uh, back in Joel, uh, 2 and 3. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and by, behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Yeah, like yeah. Joel, he likened the missiles onto horse, horsemen. You had uh, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, they likened them onto arrows. Isaiah like, likened them onto fig trees. Uh, John the Reverend likened them onto stars. Horses too. And, as well as horses. And, and, fig, and figs too. So uh, so all these prophets, they're seeing the same vision. They're just they're just writing. Describing writing, it differently. Right. Writing down to what it looked like to them. Look at that, Revelation 6. You know what? You right there at 34. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, you want me to start at the second group? Yeah, start at the point. Yeah, yeah come on. Let's just picture it. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 4. It says, And all the hosts of the heavens shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as they scroll. All right, and this time they'll describe that as a mushroom cloud. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And all their hosts 
shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from a fig tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, mm -hmm. and, Idumia. and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Speaking of you damn Edomites. Yeah. All right. Because you're at the top of the Lord's list. The Lord is really coming to dethrone you. Knock you off the throne. Jump to Revelation 6 and uh, 14. This is uh, the book of Revelation. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 6 and 13. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree. That's that, that's that nuclear destruction. Yeah. Like you said, he described it, they're describing it the same way. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. It says, even as a fig tree casteth her, her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Right. You know, you can picture that in your head. You know, shake a tree and shit. It ain't even time for that uh, that fruit to come off. It's gonna come off. Yeah. So that means it, it was dropping. <laughs> you seen them nukes dropping. Yeah. You know? You shake a tree, all of it's gonna fall. Yeah. God. So you just seen it boom, 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 boom. You know? That's the Lord's armor right there, yeah. yeah. Have you ahead. ever seen fruit drop from the tree? It explodes, yeah. especially soft fruit. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It says, and and the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Same thing that Isaiah seen. That mushroom cloud. Read that again. God. Verse fourteen, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Hey, you gotta think about that. Like what, how these prophets, like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Joel, uh, John, Apostle John, how they, how they felt when they saw these visions. Because what does the scripture say? And Peter said, the heavens shall melt with, with a, a fervent heat, with fervent heat and, with, and with great noise. So they heard and saw everything. Yeah. And it was magnificent, man. That's why I have a group. Even Habakkuk said, my bones trembled. Ezra said, what was me? Well, who delivered me in those days? Right. Daniel's the vision that he saw, he got sick. Okay, those, these, what, 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 what are written and what the Lord gave us the spirit to prophesy about, it's not pretty, man. Okay, it's very, it's gonna be a very destructive day, especially to you Edomites. In the day, like, day like never before. Right. And a day like it ain't gonna be the day after it like it. That's a, that's a that's a hell of a statement. Y'all not? Right? Hey, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, go ahead. It says, uh, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and the islands were moved out of their places. Yeah, earthquakes all happen. You know? Can you imagine that? Scripture says it's going to shake to and fro like a drunk. Yeah. So even if you're not concerned with uh, 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 the war that's going to happen, at one point it's going to get your attention. Yes. <laughs> at one point it's going to affect you, man. Go ahead. Because you could be across the fucking ocean, but then once that once that that, that earthquake begin to happen, you're going to feel that shit. We ain't yeah. talking about no three point nothing. We talking about Big ass earthquakes, man. Be on a small island. The island ain't even an island no more. It's just swallowed by by water. Tsunami got you, man. You know? Hey, cause hey, what do you see? Uh, I went to, when I was at the beach this week. I saw if uh, I saw a sign that says if there's an earthquake, run up the stairs. Yeah. It causes what? Earthquake big enough could cause a tsunami. All right. You even have, you even has over here in Cali. You even has certain tsunami warnings. Yeah. Okay. So how much more, and that's just a regular earthquake, right? How much more when that, when that, that the whole earth will to and fro? What do you think is gonna happen? It says the island's gonna move out of her place, okay? So now mm -hmm. are gonna swallow up islands, man. Don't be surprised if all the coast of California just drops in the middle of the ocean. Fucking okay, Hawaii. Hey, bro, that's spiritual. When I was in Jamaica, or Jamaica, I looked it up. If there's an earthquake, the island sinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Big enough, yeah. Go ahead. It says verse 15 and the kings of the earth 
and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the den in the rocks of the mountains. Right, because remember, Yahweh Shah is going to come. Okay, go ahead. It says, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Yahweh Shai, man. And from the wrath of the Lamb. Right, the wrath of the Lamb, being Yahweh Shai. And then mentions his wrath, man. Yeah. Mm. Showing you what he's coming to do. He's coming to judge and make war. Is that the last scripture? Oh, Keep going. It says, uh, for the great day of his wrath is come. The great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know? So all these elites that were stand. All these elites and all these governors, they're going to try to hide, you know, in some little military bases. Or to the mountains, in the water. That's not going to stop them from the Lord from getting them, man. From putting them into slavery. Uh, quick precept. Brother, getting that definition. This is uh, Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, Thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out. Thence, and though they be hid in my sight, the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. So yeah, even though they dig into hell, man, even though they dig into the ground, you know, he's got to command his men, Most High, you know, to go out there, and how is I, to command his elect to go out there and get them, you know? They're going to go out into outer space. They're going to try and go out into outer space, you know, and they're going to be brought down. They're going to even try to go to, into the sea. And then Leviathan is going to come and snatch them up, you know? So right. there's no hiding for these elites out here, man. Hey, bro, they show you that movie Don't Look Up? They, they, they were in the space shuttle? Have you ever seen Don't Look Up? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they can't run and they can't hide. I got some. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah. 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. Right, because the scripture says what? Before pride is coming. Uh, yeah, before pride comes with destruction. Right? Before destruction is community. How's it going? Pride coming before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. And I'm about to look. I'm about to look before a fall. Hey, and, who, and who's the proudest man walking on earth right now? Or the people, I should say. Wicked elites, man. And we eat them. They, they're, they're prideful. And they're so proud. They know that the Lord is coming. But they don't think that the Lord can take them down. They think that they could actually defeat the Lord. They're so prideful. They think that they can actually accomplish a new world order knowing that Yahweh Shai is coming. And they're trying to fight against the Lord. Right. Why is that? It's because that, that's their pride. Well, that's right? the Lord. Right. He put uh, hard in hard Esau's heart. So he can make it, yeah. So he can make an example out of this dude. You know, he getting built up just to get smacked down. Yeah. It, the scripture says that pride of the heart has deceived thee. Oh, thou dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. The Lord will bring thee down. All right. But it says, for the day of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, mm. and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Man, all you proud ass Americans, man. All you proud ass Jakes. The Lord gonna get you, man. He's gonna humble you, all you proud ass women. You gonna have it the worst. Who gonna have it worse than a goddamn woman, man? Come on, man. Whenever we get in these conversations, man, it don't look good for you women at all. <laughs> you know, it don't it just don't. The only thing that helps you, man, it's the society that makes your life so goddamn easy. Yeah. But strip away all the things that the so-called white man has given you. And what do you have? You have fucking nothing. You have nothing, man. You know? You don't even know how, you don't even have enough intelligence to survive without the fucking so-called white man. Without his help, without his aid. So when the when the financial collapse comes, you women are fucking you're through, man. Alright? And the men ain't gonna fall for your bullshit in that time. They gonna come out of that spell at the end, trying to get some pussy. They gonna be in survival mode. Fuck your pussy. That's the only reason men talk to you any goddamn way. They ain't into your personality. You ain't got no personality, yeah. bitch. 
You ain't shit. You're born. You stitch bitches are lame as fuck, man. And it's sad that you don't even realize how whack you are, man. But it's all good. Watch when, the, when all the when all these events roll out. You gonna really you gonna you gonna see the real for what it is. Men are gonna treat you for real. They ain't gonna they ain't gonna be no running no game. Ain't nobody running no game. The games are gonna be over. Go ahead, bro. And upon all the setters of Lebanon got on high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up. And, and what are these high mountains and hills that 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 uh, lifted up? These governments, man. All right. Verse 15. And upon every high tower, and upon every fence wall, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all the pleasant pictures. Verse 17. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of man shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day, and the idols he shall utterly abolish, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, for the fear of Yahweh Shai, and for the glory of his majesty, when he arises to shake terribly the earth, man. All right, so these people, are, who are going to be, be the ones that are going to go in the clefts of the rocks? Go on these deep underground bunkers. Alright? These Edomites, man. Alright? These high end officials that rule the earth rule the earth. They're gonna hide themselves for the fear of the Lord, man. Alright, when he comes when he comes to visit this place, which he's already ready, ready he's already visiting this place. When you go to Isaiah 29, uh uh as uh second Ezra 9 will tell you, man, why he's you know why uh, he's visiting visiting this place. Okay? But it says um And they shall go into the holes of the rocks, into the caves of the earth, for the fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty, when he arises to shake terribly the earth. In that day a man shall cast his idols of silver, and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself, to worship to the moles and to the bats, to go into the clefts of the rocks, and into the tops of the ragged rocks, for the fear of Yahweh Shai, and for the glory of his majesty, when he arises to shake terribly the earth, Sees ye for men whose breath is in his nostrils, for when he is to be accounted of. That was it. Yeah, and your silver and your gold ain't gonna be able to save you in that day, man. They're gonna pass it in the streets, right? The only one that can save you is the owl by shot. That's it, man. What you're saying? The elites are so coward, they can't even face the Lord. They gotta hide from the Lord. They know they have to do a lot of wickedness. Yeah, I mean, the Lord's going to have to put the spirit in him to fight him, you know? The Lord wants to come back to fight. Vengeance burns in his heart right now. He's sitting on the throne in the, in the heavens. He's itching to get back down here, man. Yeah, that's it. You know, you fight someone, you knock him on the ground, give him that chance to get back up, and give him because you want you want you a fair fight, you know? Cause it, hey, when the Lord fights these devils, it's going to be easy work. It's going to be easy work. It's not gonna be hard, it's gonna be easy work. All it's gonna take is one hour. Okay? That's how easy it is gonna be to take down Esau's system. Okay? Yeah, one hour, man. One hour. Think about that, man. One hour. Coast to coast. Man. It took hundreds of years to build this place up. One hour to take it down, man. <laughs> so much destruction. So much power the Lord's gonna bring with those missiles, man. Man, I can't wait, man. That's what we dream about, man. Hey, the Lord gonna come one day, man. One day he's gonna come back. One day, man. And we ain't gonna have to talk about it no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna be taken up and changed. Lord's will, you know, we have that number, you know. So we're gonna be stories about it. I've been talking to my seeds about it. I was talking to my seeds earlier about it. You know, telling them about that mark. You know, then the Lord gonna come. You know, I told him, you know. He was saying he wished the Lord would come today. I'm like, well, me too, but we gotta wait. You know, like we're going into the signs, you know. Like yeah. We gotta go into, you know, these signs are happening, but the one we're really watching out for is that MOTB. Mm -hmm. When that happens, we know the Lord is, is, is coming, man. Oh, yeah. And that's slowly being brought to the forefront. It really is, bro. You know, that, 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 that CBDC no is the introduction to that. 
fact that we can't even say, like, right? We, we use an MOTB and all of this, yeah. letting you know how close we are to it. Yeah. You know? Exactly. But they don't want their plans to be. I mean, but it's already out the bag, man. Yeah. You can't go back on your plans. It's good to say, who can resist his will? It's the Lord's mark. Yeah. It's the Lord's trial that He's putting on all humanity. All humanity. Right. You know. That's the Lord's story being played out. That's it. You can't change these words, man. You can't oh. talk about, you know, we don't like the way he wrote that part. So we're going to change it from us being the wicked to you guys being the wicked. Even if you think to change it, the Lord said the deceived and, and the deceiver are his, man. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you, <laughs> who gives a fuck what's going on in your mind? <laughs> the Lord got you doing what you're doing, man. You know? Yeah. You know, ultimately, you go and make your law to receive that mark. And it's going to be mandated, man. Okay? That's prophecy. That's prophecy. Okay. Everyone, what, what the scripture says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. That's right. None of these prophecies is going to fail, man. And that's what sets this book apart. Any other book, man. It's the, it's the, it's the, 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 the uh, most precious thing you can have. It's the understanding of this word. Okay? Because when these prophecies happen, we're not going to be perplexed. We're not going to be confused. We're going to understand, oh, this is this part of the movie. This is that part. Oh, it's happening. You know, we're going to be seeing certain things, man. You're going to be thinking of the 2nd edge of the 15th chapter, 2nd edge of the 16th chapter. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be some coolness yeah. there. Yeah. It's going to be some kala yaba shima shai. These things are happening, man. Yeah. It's going to be some excitement. The closer we're getting to the kingdom, man. Yeah, when man. All these prophecies happen. We can't get to the kingdom unless the prophecies happen, man. Uh, uh, Matthew 28, get it real quick. Okay. Oh, what you got? What you got? What you got? No, it's going to get that second. Not yeah. wanting to go through it, you know. None of us want to go through it, okay? But we have to go through it. It's it's mandatory yeah. that we go, go through ahead, these things, that. man. Okay. okay. That's going to increase our faith even more. Once we watch on the news that this chip is being pushed. Once, you know, we watch the news and we see that uh, America is being invaded or that, you know, World War III's popped off, man. America has entered into Ukraine, you know, to help fight against the Russians. That's going to increase our faith even more, man. What's already happening? America already, America and Britain. Well, I'm just talking about when they actually enter the war physically. You know, yeah. they're providing weapons and all that. But when NATO and the BRICS actually get into it, well, ain't nothing gonna happen until that MOTV happens. So all that shit is, you know, it's, it's cool, but ain't nothing really gonna happen. And then like America won't be destroyed yet. <laughs> it's on Second Ezra 16 and 67. It says, "Behold, the Most High Himself is the Judge. Fear Him." Right, the Most High is the Judge. You know, He's judging you concerning what you're doing on Earth. Fear him. You know? Make your base your life off of what the Lord thinks. Yeah. Not what society thinks of you, man. Not what the fucking woman thinks of you. Not what your friends think of you. Fear the Lord, man. Cause that's who you gotta face at the end of the day, man. We're trying to tell you, man. That's right. Hey, we can only tell them. We can only tell you to fear the Lord. And we're gonna face the Lord ourselves. We're all gonna be uh judge. You know, it works. Come on, man. You might as well want to be found doing the right thing, pleasing to your owl, bushing your shy, right. and then being part of this world and having the karagma all up in you, man. That's right. Because you're going to take that karagma out of what? Out of fear. Yeah. Out of the fear of the wrong, the wrong one. Yeah. You know, we're going to gonna refuse that, that, that mark out of fear. <laughs> out of the fear of the right one. Hey, our people fear Esau more than they fear the Most High. They don't fear the Most High at all, bro. Yeah. They only fear the Most High when it, when, when when some danger is happening to their ass. They don't. They, they, don't, they fear the so-called white man. They fear. They fear. On a daily basis. Yep. On a daily basis, you fear the fucking white man. Here it is. You're driving and Esau behind you. Your ass want to go 20 miles per hour when the speed limit is 45. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I have my fucking driving. Everyone's behind a cop car. Like, bro, what's up with y'all, man? Like. He's going 25, speed him is 40, I'm going around. Like, yeah, makes you look even more suspicious. You know? I got a quick one. 
Matthew 10 and 28, and fear them, it's like, and fear not them which can kill the body, right. but are not able to kill the soul, right. but Yo, rather, Hold on, Salak, bro. Damn, bro. Read it again, bro. God damn, bro. Let's break it down. And fear not them which can kill the body. Right, the, the current rulers, man. Because they they're gonna, they have plans on touching us, man. Yeah. So the Lord's saying, look, don't even fear them. This is to the believers. Just say it to you everyday people, man. Right. Yahweh yeah. Shai is saying this to us, the ones that are going to be persecuted for believing in him. He said, don't even fear them that could touch your body. Go ahead. But are not able. No, no, no. But are not able to kill the soul. Right, they can't touch your spirit, man. Go ahead. They're not in control of your spirit. But rather fear him. The father of spirit. Yep. Mm. Which is able to destroy both soul and the body in hell. Right, so when you compare that to the one that can only touch the body. Nah, I'd rather, I'd rather fear the one that touched both. You know? Yeah. So we fear in your how about you outside, man. I got, I got one. Go ahead. Isaiah 51 and 8. Well, Isaiah 51 and 12. I, even I am he that comforted you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man? Woo! Thou shalt die. Come on, hold up, That's hold right. up. Hold up, read that again. Isaiah 51 with the praise, man. Isaiah 51 and 12. I, even I am he that comforted you. Uh. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die? And this is the creator saying that, man. Like you, you fear that you, what you need to fear a man for, man. Another man mm -hmm. like you? Yeah. What yeah. You need to fear him for, man. You bleed just like I bleed. And Biggie had a song like that. Yeah. He had a song like that. Niggas bleed. That's the song. <laughs> he's not only like us, bro. He's the basis of that, bro. Yeah. Well, what do you gotta fear him for, you know? Uh -huh. He's an instrument. Yeah. He's only an instrument, man. That's set to those that do evil. You know, he is an instrument. The Lord is using this, the Lord is swinging his sword, man. Do you know? Go ahead. All right, let's let finish. I even, I am he that comforts you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker, that has stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fear of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy it. Where is the fear of the oppressor? Right, man. Our people fear Esau so much that they forget the Lord their maker, the one that made them and the one that and the wicked. Esau, yeah. All right? Who should you fear? Yeah. Who should you serve? And that's how Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord said, I'm the one that comforts you. Right. Because once you understand that the Lord is controlling everything, that's that's comforting, man. Yeah. He saw busting and shit 3, 4 in the morning. Because he tried to, he, he, that's how he moves. Intimidation, yeah. right? So he do that. It's like, okay, the Lord allowed this man to bust him uh, shit. The Lord, the Lord can make the you. The Lord must have a plan. Right, exactly. The Lord must have a plan then. The Lord can make you wake up 10 minutes before. Give you the rundown. They're about to break in your house. You ready there? Well, I've been waiting, motherfuckers, finally. Well, he already gave us the rundown. <laughs> he already gave us the rundown. You think it bust your door? It ain't like he coming because you're selling drugs and none of that bullshit. It's not going to be like it. It's going to be like your goddamn uh, yeah, terrorist. Gonna, gonna, yeah, he's going to come, gonna they, come harder than that. They ain't going to come. They don't come like uh, they they came at uh, you niggas in the hood. You know, they're going to they gonna bring everything that they got, man. Probably Terminators, too. Who knows? Yeah, I was trying to say, you coming you come after me as, as a thief and a yeah, robber? Yeah. You know, so they're going to use them intimidation factors. Don't be intimidated. Don't be afraid of that. Hey, you got to remember this word that, that we've been that we've been reading and believing. Sure. Believe I was thinking that too, bro. Esau came to my house. Uh, I was 17, and my brother, he had a warrant for his arrest. And I was sleeping in the den with the slide door, so they came at 4 o'clock in the morning, like you say, right? 4 o'clock in the morning, knocking on the door where I was. And shit, so I got up. It was about three of them. Right, three big old huge motherfucking white policemen in Mississippi and shit, right? So they was like, uh, yeah, we're here for Frederick, I'm sorry to say his name, some such, such such and shit, right? And uh, it was like, I was like, he out of town. I'm like, nah, I'm my mind, I'm already, I already made up some shit, he out of town. And it's like, well, let me see your ID. And I gave him my ID and shit, it's like, like me. He said, where's room? 
was like, my mama's asleep. I was let me go tell my mom, right? So uh -huh. I went back there to my brother's room and told him to lock your door, police said. And I went and told my mom, yo, tell him Fred that he, he, we don't have no key to his room and shit. So she got up and the whole store went right and they left, okay? So no matter what, the Lord got us, got us, okay? It don't matter what circumstances you're in, man. The Most High will give you that mouth, okay? Make a way out for you. Or they, they can bust in and not even see you. There you go. There you go. Or turn you and your family invisible. I don't know, man. Yeah, you go. They can't put nothing past the Lord. Yeah, but we, we still got to. Anything's possible. Yeah. But we, we, like the men that try to uh, get locked. Remember the Lord blinded them? They yeah. couldn't find the door? Yeah. Oh, but even then, we got to prepare our minds. You know, you got to have expect miracles too, but expect things to be hard too. Yeah. Expect to be tried too. Yeah. So. Don't, don't, don't be like, oh, man, you know, no miracle happened. They busting your shit and they taking you. Don't, nah, man. It's wait not on, over. Just wait on the war, man. And if you know those things, because I shall suffer for the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And you may be tried 10 days. You got faith on to death. Yeah, He'll give is, you a crown of life. Yeah, it, is, it is what it is, man. Yeah. See, that got to come to your mind when that happens. Shit, I might just be taken up, you know? Yeah, it is what it is, man. Pray the Lord and endure, man. I mean, it's easier said than done, but hey, man, this is our reality. Exactly. This is the path the Lord put us on. I mean, what are we going to go against our God? Out of fear? No. Let your faith prepare thee of fear. Go ahead. No. So Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, and as the rivers of water, he turneth it wherever so he will. Yes, yeah, so the Lord's controlling this man. The Lord's uh, uh, moving this man up. When it's time for him to move on us, hey, the Lord said it's time. Yep. Hey, the most high could put it in these soldiers' hearts to be at peace with you, man. Exactly. Who knows? Yep. I got a quick one. Daniel you 4 didn't and finish that one that you was reading. But go ahead. Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. There you go. So the Lord is in control. Yeah. He you set know. this man up. Right. Even though he set he sets a, a ruler up, but it's the Most High doing, uh, 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 working on his mind like the brother just read. Hey, yeah. he's controlling the puppet. Right. He saw the puppet. The Lord's controlling it, controlling him. Uh, you know, do this, do that. Move, move here, move that. Move your left arm. Move your right arm. Yep. Stand up. All right, just like the Lord's having this man come with the. Cause you guys, motherfucker, what's what's CBDC, man? Motherfuckers gonna think it's a rock group, right? Record label. Nah, motherfucker. <laughs> you <said> record label. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> you know, they're not gonna know, but. The Lord putting it in this man's spirit to, you know, for things to get digital. You know? Digital underground. <laughs> you know? So, the Lord's having this man move to that MOTV, man. You know? Pretty soon it's going to happen. The Lord's World 2023. Yeah, they already got spots set up now where it's, uh, the CBDC readers, okay, are being set up in place, man. Okay? Yeah, like Home exactly. All right, the DMV, okay, the major places where you go, you know, to do your to do your business, you know, pretty soon it's going to be at the grocery store. And when it gets to the grocery store, it's going to be over. People are going to comply. Oh yeah. Because they're they're, they're, they're going to want to eat. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna get to the point. We gotta go back to what you had, bro. Go back to that 16. Because it's going to get to that point where our faith is going to separate us. Yeah. Everybody's going to be going this way, and we're going to be going that way. We're going to be sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah. You got to expect your faith to be strong that day, boy. Like sticking out like a sore thumb, right? Yeah. Everyone's going to be mourning and weeping, but we're going to be what? Laughing and rejoicing. Yeah. Why are, you, why are you so happy? Why are you so calm? You know, there's going to be something like everyone's like panicking, but you're calm. That means you know something. Yeah. Okay, that, that means you know something, you know? But we don't. All right. 
all these scriptures that we're reading are going to be coming to pass. We're going to be like, oh, but shit, look at that. There it is right there. You know, we're going to be starving. We're going to be eating. Yeah, especially when that happens. You know, and they're going to be wondering how they eating. You know? Don't, don't worry about it, sweetheart. No. <laughs> don't worry about it, sweetheart. Hey, you know how we don't have food or you don't have water for a certain period of time. Your your faith your your body starts to change, all right? Well, you can be able to tell the difference between those that have an eight and those that have eight. Yeah. It's back in Second Ezra 16, 67. It says, "Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities." Speaking to your tribes, man. Yep. We never went back to that uh, Isaiah 55, man. The scripture said, let the wicked forsake their thoughts. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. This is to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Lord lead you forth and deliver you from all your trouble. Yeah. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Yeah. Just like we read in Revelation 12 and 12, man. Yeah. The scripture said, give me any wrath but the wrath of the enemy. So the Lord is not having this man play whatsoever. Okay, when the Lord turns this man up, hey, like this, it's, it's gonna be fucking over, man. Because mm -hmm. yes. the Lord created the evil, the, the, evil, the wicked for the, the wicked. There you go. Like this, so implying that there's gonna be a day of evil, man. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is not playing with uh, uh, with, the, with his invention. I mean, with his creation. Right. If he saw Edom, he's not playing, mm -hmm. man. You know, gave this man all type of weaponry and, and you know, gave him a cold spirit. Above That's all. who I was just yeah. thinking. He gave him a cold spirit. Yeah, he has a cold ass spirit, man. He'll kill, he'll murder you in cold blood and go eat dinner. And, was, uh, it, ain't, it ain't nothing to him, man. Hey, I was, mm -hmm. I was watching that movie Emancipation, bro. That, that showed the brutality of slavery, man. You know, I it wish showed it went harder on that movie. Yeah, it, the movie kind of soft, man. Yeah, kind, kind. But it, it shows you, like, how this man, man, he shows no fucking mercy. And that's, no mercy. man, you know, that's coming back big. I saw this uh, video of this Edomite talking about like, like ammo and some shit. It's like, can, uh, can this kill a uh, human? It's like, the Edomite said a plane, like, with a, I killed many people with that type of gun. Damn. Oh, he said, like, it was nothing. I killed a lot of people with that type of gun. That's you know? spirit. Yeah. Hey, just like Dave Chappelle, he went, I need a gun. He <laughs> went uh, yeah. the gun shot. He's like, now I need some bullets. He's like, well, which one you think I should get? And he was like, them right there, <laughs> gonna kill a <them>, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau, no. Uh -huh. That's Esau's blessing, man. Yep. It's that damn score, man. Yep. Okay? You can't beat him at his own game. All right? That's why it's so important for you to come back to the nationality so you could get into the spirit. Okay? We're, supposed, we're spiritual. This is a spiritual war, man. Right. His blessing okay? is the sword. Our blessing is our God. That's right. <laughs> Weapons of our warfare are caught. Jeez. <laughs> man, these people are slow, terrible drivers, bro. Fucking America. Yeah. Uh, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of the great multitude is kindled over you. Kindled over who? Kindled over you, Jake. Yeah. And like we said earlier, man, we can only tell you, man. That's it. We can only tell you, man. If you don't take it serious, hey, that's on you. Hey, you can't be like that. They live trying to beat your ass to get you to see it. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. They're blinded. They're blinded. Yeah. It's it's dead. It says, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Now they're going to try to get that MLTV, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be a cho uh, choice uh, that's going to be presented to everybody, man. Like in Revelation, the third chapter, it's going to try the entire world, man. All right? Even ourselves. Hey, man, but fuck it. Well, we got to do it, man. Yeah. Made it this far. Fuck this life. You know? <laughs> There's only a couple of moments we can We have to endure. No one will see that crown of life. Yeah, bro. We just got to endure, man. That's it. Just, it's yeah. going to get hella turbulent. Hella boisterous. Fuck it, man. Hey, do it, Jerry. Wait for it, man. Yep. Okay? Because it's going to be a time we're going to be done on the streets, man. 
Okay, we're gonna be done on the, on the street trying to wake us up, man. Okay, and then after that, the judgment is gonna come. The doors of mercy is gonna be closed, just like the door of mercy was closed on the ark. Okay, and then those raindrops start coming down. All right. Exactly. Okay, the missiles gonna start raining now. That's how people like that, how people are like that damn loud ass car, okay? Making all that noise and ain't going nowhere, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Ain't right. going nowhere. I don't understand Fast. The, loud, the loud car thing. I don't get it, but whatever. Go ahead. It says, uh, and they shall uh, take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. <laughs> and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, because eventually your eyes will get uh, burnt to death. Yeah. You can set on, onto what they're trying to give you, man. What do you look like trusting in the enemy, man, the wife? Yeah. You know, what the hell has he ever done to you? No, nothing but slaughtered our people, man. You're going to find out that consenting ain't, ain't going to, it ain't going to add the solution. And you're going to get cancer sores and tumors. Yeah, that's our revelation, man. Before the Lord broke them. As they should. <laughs> it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. Right, so the pressure that the Lord's going to put upon society through certain mandates is going to cause an uprising. It's going to cause sedition. Famines, all of that the, that the Lord is bringing. It's gonna, it's, motherfuckers is going to rise up. Yeah. You know? Like they show you in these movies, man. Man, I can't wait, man. Fuck. <laughs> like, we wanted that to happen already, man. Mm -hmm. Shit. This shit is whack. Yeah. That's how you know we're getting more close to the end because we get more anxious. Yeah, man. You know? I know I am. I'm sick of this day to day shit, man. When your brothers yeah. uh, heard the lockdown, y'all thought it was it, huh? Yeah. I thought it was it. Oh, yeah, bro. Shit. We prison as a whole, bro. Yeah. Well, here we are, three years later almost. Yep. But we still have faith in, that it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. You know, it's going to happen. You know, but this is the Lord testing us. Yep. Okay? T testing our patience, man. Okay, yep. see what it's saying. And now patience holds you what? Your soul. Possession your soul, man. Okay? So we're not changing. We're not changing the doctrine up just because things not happening in a time that we think they should happen. Okay. Our apostles thought that it was going to happen in 2000. Right. What 22 saw. years later. 22, 23 okay. years later. Exactly. So, so Lord Terry, wait for it. Yeah. yeah. The part that gets me is, like, just with, with apostles of heart, the fact that he came in 85, yeah. and they were teaching that it would happen in 2000, he's, he's still willing to wait 15 years. That's the part that gets me, like, damn. <laughs> yeah. That's crucial, man, because, you know, some of us waiting 15 years, 12 years, 10 years, but we're doing it unknowingly, you know? we just waiting, and, and years are passing. They were waiting, like, mm -hmm. with Boy's the intent coming. that they're going to be out of here in 15 years or mm -hmm. 10 years. Oh. Like, wow, man, that's 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 some heavy faith. Mm -hmm. yep. And then it didn't come. They start pushing still, harder. Still waiting. Yeah. And we you know? 20 years, 22 years past that. Yep. 23 years past that. So come on, man. See, but those are great examples for us in the flesh. How the fuck can we give up when these men are still going? You know? Yeah. They don't giving up, man. Fuck all that. What is it to go back to but death hmm. and destruction? Yeah, like fuck all said of that. In Hebrews. It was like, it was patience. All you're going back to is destruction. Yep. And you make it worse for yourself because you know, you already knew, and you gave up. Saying which those that know him get gonna get beaten with more stripes, man. You're gonna get it worse. Because you knew the way of righteousness, but you chose to turn back. I'd rather take my chances waiting. You know? Hey, I always come and say this good thing is coming to you when you wait. I learned from past experiences when I didn't wait, I lost patience. Oh, should have waited. <laughs> you know? But now it's all hey, the scripture says um you're gonna reap if you Fate not. Yeah. So you gotta continue to 
won't work, man. So you won't faint. Gotta continue to endure. Hey, you know? it's just like that meme. Y'all seen that meme? This guy's mining for diamonds. He's mining and mining, and then he was this close. The dollar diamonds right there. He was this close. Like one more strike, he would have been. But he gave up. Gave up. Okay, one more lick, and he would have been right there. Okay. Just like when Saul told, uh, I mean Samuel told Saul to wait for seven days. You know, and he didn't. And then that's when Samuel came. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you guys falling out, you know, losing, losing, you know, losing patience. Yep. And then here, here it is, the Lord comes, man. But you had men fall out in 2019, and boom, yeah. shutdowns came. So it's like, come on, man. Like, I believe Lamar fell out in 2019. Mm. And then boom, the shutdowns came, you know? Go ahead, I'm going to get that seven-year-old. You want me to says all. Verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Alright, so the main targets is going to be you Israelites, you Jake, that are out there. Alright, you know, that that's what he saw, you know, he wants us, you know, destroyed pretty much. Those, those of us who don't, uh, who don't it's like it. Those of us who don't uh, comply. comply, who don't agree with them, man, yeah. you, you know, he wants us destroyed. All right. It's just like in uh, 2020 when they said, who, who the, who the main one would they, they were targeting to get the JAB? Mm. Oh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mm. y'all are the ones that are more susceptible since y'all are the poorest. I mean, the poorest neighborhoods. You know, you're. You don't have access to medical care and all of this, so we're gonna to have to vaccinate you first, slot and say straight up. They, they, that shows that shows a lot, cause they right? they completely. Yeah, I, I know, so. no, they'll clip that shit. Yeah, I know. So. I mean, learn, yeah. But yeah. They, they they completely jumped jumped over Moab. All right, and all these right. all these yeah. fucking dudes. Yeah. That's, that's, how that's how it started. Yeah. That's how it started, and they're all like, oh yeah, the J, the, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yep. Yeah. All right, you right. They just jump right over more. Oh, yo, yeah. <laughs> that, that's supposed to show you who, who's the main target, man. All right. It says, uh, it says there shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses. All right. It it's, says it's, so. All these people that have um, attachment. To the houses and substance and stuff. Yeah. Uh, even Jakes that go back into the world, you end up losing it when chaos happens. Yeah, come on, come on. What the fuck yeah. you gonna do with a car? What the hell are you gonna do in the house? That's what I'm saying. What you gonna do with a, when all hell breaks this, man? You're in a nice, fancy, luxurious house. It's not gonna matter. That's built for comfort and not for war. Yeah. It says, let's see, uh, we were at a. Verse uh, 72, it says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Right, because our faith is going to separate us. You know, it's going to be a, a separation. Yeah. Just like it was a separation with the juice. Yep. When it's going to be a thousand times uh, more known. Uh, much more, man. Yeah. Okay, because this is the main prophecy. Okay, or one of the main ones. Go ahead. It says, and it said we're gonna be tried, man. Yep. You gotta keep that in mind, man. That it's just a trial. Mm -hmm. You know, right. just like when we read about Abraham being tried. The scriptures tell you at the top, at the top of at the top of Genesis 22 that the Lord's gonna prove him. So, but he didn't know. But the Lord gave us a scoop that we're we'll, we going to be tried, man. If we were to read about these times, it would say, and I'm, and I'm going to try, just like we read, read again. <laughs> it's saying that we're going to be tried. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. See, at least we know. Yep. yep. At least we know we're being tried so we can pass the yeah. test. You know? These people here, they don't know, man. They don't know they're going to they be tried. You know, they don't know that the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Juicy Juice was a pop quiz. Yeah. 
So like in uh what is Zephaniah 13, 8 and 9, yeah. where it says uh two-thirds gonna get destroyed, they're, they're oh, gonna so get tried. Zachariah. They're gonna, Zachariah, yeah. Zachariah. They're gonna they're gonna get tried and uh gonna fail well, the test. Oh, get a big F. Okay. A red F, and that F is for fire. Yeah. <laughs> and the D is not the department, it's death. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get a D or F. You ain't gonna get a passing grade. You gonna either die or die. Yep. That's that second Corinthians, the third chapter two. Every man's work uh, is gonna be tried in the fire. Mm -hmm. You know, hey. you're gonna know whether it be a wood, hay, hay stubble, yeah. you know, gold or silver. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's crazy. It says, uh, "Then shall they be tried as gold in the fire." Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. If I was in the shoe, I'd leave America. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been gone. Yeah. Save up like fucking 15,000. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> if I wasn't in the shoe. I go to Thailand. Uh, no, I was going to say. Fucking men walking around. I mean, me and Philip, Philip, Philip. Brazil, man. Even in Brazil. I'll learn Spanish before I go, though. Portuguese. Portuguese, okay. Yeah, I'll learn the language of the land. Yeah. Go out there, visit, and then see what you know, see what you need to live. You know, set it all up, make plans. But hey, we here though. Yeah. We got a job to do. But it's going to the Lord. Yeah. If I wasn't <laughs> though, I, I I wouldn't be here, man. Mm -hmm. This world, uh, this, this place is so oppressive, man. Every, you're being attacked everywhere. Other countries are not like this, man. Yeah. This shit is horrible, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, go ahead. I don't know what made me say that. It says uh. It says, 74, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. You see that? Mm. So we have to expect deliverance, man. Yep. Now, by Shema Shah, he's going to come through for us, man. And, 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 how you doing, brother? The way that he comes through, whoo, it's just hey, going. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know. Okay, brother. Can you hear him? Can you say what he said? Oh, oh that's fine. Hey, he's a Jake, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck him, you know? <laughs> They for him, you know? But, uh, yeah, you gotta expect deliverance, man. Go ahead. It says, uh, it's expect, a expect miracles, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just take we don't know how it's gonna happen, but we know it's gonna happen, man. It's gonna happen. We serve the Lord, man. Yeah. We serve the Lord, man. And we sincere. We ain't yep. nobody up here faking, man. Hey, you wait on, wait on the Lord until the last second. Lord can save you in that last split second, right, man. man. I've been there, bro. Okay. Man. Just that faith, man. Knowing that the Lord is going to come through. You, you gotta, don't know how. You got to know it, man. You but gotta you know, know he coming. You got to know it. Okay. And endure whatever the fuck it looks like at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Endure it. Because best believe the Lord going to come through. If you, if you sincerely serve the Lord, man. You call on the names of truth and sincerity. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gonna come through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he gonna come through. Best believe yeah. it. He says the angels of the Lord and camp around them that fear them, man. He gonna come through, okay. bro. We'd be here all night if I was going to all the times the Lord came through. I can't. Man. There's so many things. Man. There's so many things, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. And let's jump to the Samuel. God. It says, uh, 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Right, the Lord don't want us to be afraid these times, man. Because fear will cloud your judgment. Yeah. Fear, fear will how you do some other shit that you, that you think like, oh, I should never did that. Hey, fear is why you fail. Yeah. You fail the test. It's because you fear at the end of the day. Yeah, man. And there's so many scriptures that, uh, tells, tells us, the Lord tells us countless times. Oh, not to fear. Well, I just did a lesson. Fear not is in the, fear not comes up in the scriptures 144 times in the KJV. Fear that's not. Good. That was that's the spirit. 
Typing it, type it fear not on blue letter. I was finding, I was thinking my man, uh, uh, I should do a lesson. Fear, like not fearing. Yeah. I, just, uh, I always do lessons. Yeah. Uh, I always do lessons on the same thing. Ain't nothing, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Fear thou not. Fear not. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. Show the camera, bro. It, it starts from Genesis. No, show, show what it says, bro, what it reads. Fear, fear not. Read it, bro. It says, fear not occurs in 144 verses in the KJV. 144. <laughs> yeah, That's tight, man. Okay. Spirit showed me that. Yeah. Well, no, nah, we was going to Leskin one of them Thursdays, and remember the, some, woman, uh, some woman on the comment board. Oh, okay. Something happened, and brother Mike typed it in and said it came in 144 times. Yeah, that's spirit, that's spirit. I just never forgot it. Yeah, but that's the sign. Yeah, hey, that's what I, they're hopeful. That's what it's, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou, thou worm Jacob. And that was the, the name of my lesson. Uh, Jacob, thou worm. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Yeah, uh, the Lord said he's going to help us. The man that he should lie. Yeah. Oh. Said the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Man. Yep. So, uh, you imagine the Lord's help. The Lord split the sea. That's that's the type of help the Lord comes with, man. The Lord blinded all these faggots outside of Lot's door. That's the type of help the Lord comes with. You know what I'm saying? Bro, what does that look like modernized? Not saying that it needs to be modernized. But what does that look like in this time? You know what I'm saying? That hope is going to be something else, boy. Mm -hmm. You're going to wish you had someone to tell. Yeah. Hey, man, you know what the Lord did for me, man? Man. But we're going to add the stories when we we get beamed up to them ships, Lord's will. We're going to be yes. like, man, Lord, you did this for me. Ooh. And y'all brothers, hear, hear me out. The Lord, and you're going to have a mind to know every detail. Ain't, no, mm. ain't, ain't nothing going to... Ain't gonna be left out. We're gonna come with every detail. We're gonna have a number of time too. Yeah. yeah. Time ain't a factor, but take your time. Three hours later. Hey, I'll let y'all bust you off shot. <laughs> now, 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 now it's you, brother. You go and steal. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking yeah, about, you know. It's gonna be amazing, man. Lord did this, Lord did that. You're gonna tell our children. Like, y'all, you don't you know what I mean. I had to go through to get to this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get this crown, you know. I had to go to this, I had to go to that. Yeah. I had to suffer this. That's why it's so it's all worth it, man. Yeah. It's all worth hey, it. Hey, what what did Paul say? The sufferings can be compared to the glory, man. That's right. That's the That's crazy right. part, we haven't even seen the glory. Yeah. Right? It ain't really it ain't about the glory though. It's about pleasing our power. Yeah. It's about you. How about your shot being a, being being happy with you, man? Mm -hmm. That's that that beats the glory. Yeah. That well, is, I guess it, that is the glory. That, yeah, that's that what I was about to say. Yeah. Yep. That's why that's why the scriptures say glory not in this glory yeah. in that you know the Lord. Yeah. That's the glory, man. Yeah. You know, Baby. fuck all. I mean, not fuck it. Not fuck it. Of course we want peace. Of course we want the kingdom. Of course we want to rule. Yeah, of course. Of course we want multiple women. Yeah, you know, but to win your house shy, but to win your house shy, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Man. Of course, a slave will want all of that. Yeah, yeah. we we know nothing but fucking pain. Yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> but it's so, deeper than all of that, man. We want we want we want to please our power, man. Hey, yeah. let me bring this one up. Yeah, and let's get the salmon. Let me hit it. Stop it. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Proverbs eight and thirty five. It says, whoso findeth me, findeth life. Right? So in order to find the Lord, you gotta what? First, like we started off, you gotta seek him. Right? Whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Let's look at that word favor. Right? Um, favor. Rataza. 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 Oh yeah, Ratazazat, Ratazan, but pleasure, delight, favor, goodwill, acceptance, 
goodwill, goodwill, favor. We want to be, we, we want to find favor in the Lord. The Lord, we want to, what? We want the Lord to look at us with, with favor, with pleasure, with delight, with goodwill, with acceptance. Acceptance. All right? Yeah, that's, that was it, man. We want to be like how was shy when the Lord says, this is my beloved son, my well pleased, man. Listen unto him. Okay, the Lord Yahweh was pleased with Yahweh Shai, man, because Yahweh Shai did his will, man. He didn't do his own will. Say, nah, me dying on the cross, that's going too far. Okay, I don't think I should have to die, you know. He didn't say nothing like that. Abraham didn't say nothing like that. Like, that's all, that's my only son. You know, why I gotta kill him? He didn't say nothing like that. You know, he just went through because he wanted to please the Lord, man. And that's what we're doing. We're going through, doing the things that the Lord told us to do. Okay, because we want to please him, man. Okay? It's not it's not for our own fame, uh, uh, vain vanity, man. Okay? Because we know none of this is of us. You know, we know that our righteousness is as filthy rags. All right, but we just hope that the Most High find it in His Spirit, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, to be well pleased with us after we do this work, man. Okay, and the things that He gave us, the tools that He gave us, you know, the amount of faith that He gave us, you know. Yeah, the scripture speak of uh, 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 being worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. You know, the scripture speak about the acceptable. Uh, uh, Go to try and fire an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. All right, so this is the only way to be acceptable. Go ahead. It's uh, the book of 1 Samuel 10 and 6. Going back to you men that, that lost patience. Go ahead. It says, And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon, upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shalt be turned into another man. Right. Samuel's giving him the rundown. Go ahead. Seven. And let it be when these signs are come unto thee that thou do as occasion serve thee for the Most High is with thee. And thou shalt go down before me to Gagal. That's the point. Thou shalt go down before me to Gagal. Go ahead. And behold, I will come down unto thee to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings seven days shalt thou tarry seven days shalt thou tarry go ahead till i come to thee and shoot thee show show thee what thou shalt do okay and it was so that when he had turned his back to go from samuel and the most i gave him another heart and all those signs came past that day all right so he told him he gave him specific instructions wait uh, tarry here seven days for me man now jump to uh, 13. Yeah. Start the top. Just run through it. Go on, go on. This is verse 13. No, no, no. Chapter 13. Oh, yeah. Just this run through it. 13 and 1. It says, Saul reigned one year, and when he had reigned two years over Israel, Saul chose him 3,000 men of Israel. It says, Where of 2,000 were with Saul in, in Michmash? It says, In other Bethel. And thousands were with Jonathan in, in Gibeah of Benjamin, and the rest of the people he sent every man to his tent. And Jonathan smote the garrison of the Philistine that was in Gibeah, and the Philistines heard of it. And Saul blew the trumpet throughout all the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. And all Israel heard, say, that Saul had smit a garrison of the Philistines, and that Israel also we had an abomination. It says, with the Philistines, and the people were called together after Saul to Gilgal. And the Philistines gathered, gathered themselves together to fight with Israel, 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen. And people, as the sand which is in the sea, shore in the multitude, that they came up and pitched in Michmash, eastward from Beth Avon. It says, when the men of time, huh? Yeah. It 
It says, uh, I mean, run through it, but I'm saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. six. Make it, it work for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It says, when the men of Israel saw that they were in a strait, for the people were distressed, then the people did hide themselves in the caves, and in the thickets, and in the rocks, and in the high places, and in the pits. And some of the Hebrews went over Jordan to the land of Gad and uh, Gilead. As, as for Saul, he was yet in Gilgal, and all the people followed him trembling. And he tarried seven days, according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, bring hither a burnt offering to me. That was the wrong move. Yep. That was the wrong move. Okay. It says, in, right. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offerings. Now go back. Yeah, go back to 10 and, uh, and 8. Yeah. It's back in 10 and 8. 1 Samuel 10 and 8. And thou shalt go down to me in Gagal, and behold, I will come down unto thee to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings. Seven days shalt thou tarry till I come to thee and, and show thee what thou shalt do. So he didn't wait for Samuel to do the offerings. He took it upon himself because his ass was scared of the people and all of that. Go back to him. It's back at 13 and uh, 8. It says, And he tarried seven days according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me. Wrong move. You're getting hasty now. Yeah. Now you're getting hasty. Go ahead. Hey, what does the screw say? Make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah, yeah make not haste in the time of trouble. He started tripping. Go ahead. It says, And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass, that as soon as he had made an end to the offering, the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came. See that? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like we were talking about with that bus. Yeah. yeah. You know, you wasn't willing to wait on that bus, then yeah. you, you began walking, and on your on your journey, the bus passed your ass, man. So as soon as he was done making the offering, which he wasn't supposed to, he was supposed to wait on Samuel. Here comes Samuel. Mm. Mm. And you know, Samuel was serious. <laughs> He wasn't fucking around. So Saul knew when he seen Samuel. Oh. Knew you fucked up. Man. I know you done fucked up, man. Read that again. Yeah, it says, And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end to the offering, the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him, and he might salute him. So like it, that he might salute him. Yep. Yeah. And it was the priest. The priest was only supposed to do... Um, Burnt yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, and Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, See, it, it, it wasn't no, He wasn't trying to shoot the right, shit with right. you. Right. He came straight to it. Yeah. What hast thou done, man? What the fuck you doing, man? Go ahead. It said, What what hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me. They're always blaming the people. Yeah. Go ahead. And that thou camest not within the days appointed. What you mean? He did come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, dog? He came. As soon as you was done, he came. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just couldn't wait. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, and that the Philistines. Read that again. Read his, yeah. read his excuses again. God, God. It says, because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed. And that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Mi'kmash. You scared, dog? That's yeah. Uh, you scared? That's really what. It, that's really what you should have said. I look, I'm scared. Yeah. Through my fear, I made the wrong decision. But he tried to blame. He tried to blame, blame everything <laughs> except himself. Right. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse twelve. Therefore said I, the Philistines will come down upon me to Gilgal. And I have not made a supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself therefore and offered a burnt offering. See, the scripture say force not the course to the river, man. Oh, you gotta yeah. wait on the Lord, man. You gotta follow instructions. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. It 
says, and Samuel, oh my God, yeah, yeah. And Samuel said, so, thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord, thy power, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. Keep going. It says, but now the kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought him. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. Right. The Lord has you sought him. You got to hit the words right, bro. It says, but now the kingdom, thy, the thy, kingdom. thy kingdom shall not continue. Because if you say now the kingdom, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. and thy, it's just two different things. Yep. You're speaking directly to Saul. Yeah. Because yeah. he's about to set up another ruler. Go ahead. It says, but but now thy kingdom shall not shall not continue. And the Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. Yep. And the Lord hath commanded him. We know him. who that is. Yep. If that brother was here, I'll ask, who's that talking about? But he ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> Go ahead. Says, after his own heart. We know that's talking about King David. Yep. Okay? So, hey, you men that fall out, the Lord gonna, he finds somebody better. Yeah. Oh, that truly yeah. seeks the Lord, that truly believes in the Lord. You know? That's after the Lord's own heart. You know? You men that couldn't wait, like Saul. With that hasty ass spirit. Go ahead. It says, uh, it's it's like, don't do what you think you need. Don't do what, you know? Yeah. Like with my woman and children, man. It's like, nah, that's not what the fuck I told you, man. Do what I told you. You know, don't think, don't, don't, don't do what you think. Right, I assume. told you. Hey, don't assume. Yeah. You don't to do what I, the instructions I clearly gave you, man. So we gotta do, we gotta, we gotta keep the instructions that the Lord clearly gave us, man. You know, he said, do it to the end. The same, uh, how does it go? The same shall be said. The same, he that endure to the end, the same shall be said. That's it, man. Yeah. If you don't endure, what can you fucking say? What excuses, right. excuses can you come with? Nah, man, you have done foolishly, man. You know? And he that endure for to the end, the same shall be saved. That's some clear instructions. Yep. They don't get no clearer than that, man. You know? Yep. Go ahead. This is, and the let's, Lord. Let's finish that verse and we done. Oh, it says, And the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast kept, has not kept that which the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, commanded him. All right, so you men that gave up, that lost patience, you have not kept uh, the commandments of the Lord. Therefore, there's a sore waiting for you. Yeah. What will you do when the Lord visits you, man? Mm. And to us that are still waiting, still holding on to that patience, man, hey, continue in it, man. Continue in your faith. Yeah. For the Lord going to make good of all he said, man. It's just a matter of waiting. That's it. Which is the hardest part. That's yeah. the hardest part. But fuck it, man. So you pray for patience. Yeah, bro. Every day. Pray for endurance. We already we too deep. Uh, how you say? It? Yeah, you need we, deep. We deep. already in too deep. Right. Yeah. Ain't no exactly. going back. Yeah. <laughs> you already made a vow. You already you already crossed over. So, so death do us part. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You know, so Lord's will is edifying today. It's been another week. You know, we'll see what the Lord does this this up and coming week. A week away from 2023, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord's will. Uh, 2023 starts off with a bang, man. Lord's will, man. Lord's will. You know, it's definitely 2022 is definitely ending crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, turned up like uh like yeah. the apostle named it, man. We're gonna sure. see what the Lord gave the, the apostle for 2023. That's right. right. Which when you add it all up, it's seven. Woo. So it could, it could be complete. Yeah. You know. So, Lord's will, let's edify him. We want to end it by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash. Rock at the Yahweh, Rock at the Yahweh, Rock at the Yahushai, Rock at the Yahweh, 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 Rock at the